What is the Lifesteal SMP? A group of media influencers who came together and created one of the most popular Minecraft servers ever. With that, Lifesteal Season 5 begins! This is how I survived the Lifesteal SMP for three years. But all stories have a beginning, so we begin with season one. Like any other server, the first thing you do is log in. Unlike any other server, I was instantly involved in the first war of Lifesteal SMP. In the midst of battle, I was essentially choosing sides at random. Little did I know, this is how I would gain my first teammate, but also my first few enemies. Even with my minimal gear, I was still attempting to help out. But my help only led to my first death, and consequently, losing my first heart. After that, I decided it was best to watch from afar, and understand why this fight was happening. How would you have another gone apple? He's pitching again. Oh my god. He's just chugging them. And just like that, the fight had ended. Later, we had found out that Mapic had been using TP commands to be able to escape the fight, as long with Parrot and Vortex abusing an exploit to give them infinite hearts. But, meanwhile, we decided it was best to head home to the base and gear up, because this war had just began. Following the events that just happened, we knew war was in the air. After heading back to the base, I started mining diamonds, crafting my gear, enchanting, and then finally upgrading everything to netherite. And normally at this stage of the game is when the conflict would start developing, but no. Due to the cheating from Parrot and Jpex and Mapix side, they wanted a final battle to decide the victor of this war. And even with my lack of gear, I wanted to participate in this. They challenged us to a fight and said it was us versus them. We were skeptical because there was two of them and six of us, and we knew something was going down. Okay, um, are we all set? Uh, Jpex and Mapix are gone. Bro, what are they doing? I don't what want any kind of what kind of worse shenanigans yeah, are they turning on? Really they would bring end crystals, I guarantee you. If it's on easy mode, it's on hard. Is a JPEX and Pova had both been in spectator mode. They claimed it was for cinematic shots, and well, at the moment, we right, believed I'm it. Number four. Here, wait. I have an extra netherite ingot. Who needs it? Finally, we decided our team was well equipped enough to go out and fight, but we had left behind one of our members just in case something went wrong. No, he said he'll TP you guys. No, 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 no we don't want that. Not we don't TPing, want that. that's stupid. I'm close. I'm we approached the fight, but little did we know this would be the last fight of the server. He's definitely I, I'm 200 blocks away, 200 blocks away. Mapix on me, Mapix on me. I right, spoke, get to, get to the monument right now, spoke. I'm, I'm, I'm with. here, I'm here. Uh, so are we yapping, are we yapping? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I just popped the pot, I just popped the pot. Yo, I, I don't know what Vitality is. Yo, Vitality, 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 kill Vitality. Yo, Vitality, get him, get him, give me one, give me one, get him out. Pot, 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 pot. I just had the pot. I'm actually murking, I'm murking Mapek. Someone has to help me, someone has to help me. They both have tridents, they both have tridents. They're on you, Spoke, Spoke. If you need to... They're on you. They're literally on your cheeks. Leo, Leo, I'm with you. Leo, I'm with you. Watch out. Running out. Of, I'm running out of speed and strength. I'm out of speed and strength. Did he get a dolphin? Alright, kill him. Yes, good job. Let's go. I'm, I need help. I need help. It's a two v one. It's a two v one. I'm I'm really low too. I'm at. I don't need to get pulled, but I'm low. I'm low. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. Watch out for JPEX, watch out for JPEX. I got to get on that, I'm gonna get on that, I'm gonna get on that. Yeah. Grab Mapex, grab Mapex. Okay, nice. Uh, who's trying to go around? JPEX is on the back of us, I'm gonna try to 1v1. He gapped, he gapped. That's fine, that's fine, don't worry about gaps. Speed actually is not helping, like, at all. Sorry. Strength is like where's that? I don't know what the buff. I critted may pick twice. Flank. Shields are godly. You shield. Yes, shields. we shocked him, we shocked him, we shocked him! Go, 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 We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him! Let's go! Oh, he's out, he's out. Don't let the zombie pussy pick. Tell us not to run and have their money. Don't let the zombie pussy pick. They want to. None of us to run. Now, wait, what's your plan? Why are they fighting? 
can't do it! We can't do it! Alright, I'll move forward. I'll move forward. I'll move forward. He's out. He's out. Jipix is gone too. Jip. Okay, I'm heading over. No, 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 no. That's two good crits. Two I'm, good I'm crits. coming to you. I'm coming to you. I'm with you. Hey, no. He's trying to get out. He's trying to get out. What the heck, dude? My dude is bee hopping. What is this? Try and block him in. Try and block him in. Dude, I can't see anything. I know the fuck. That is such a montage right there. I got the, I got the cinematic shots if you want it. You remember how I practiced shooting bows at you while you tried it? It's paying off, bro. <laughs> Dude, these I'm buttons buttons up. are I'm so annoying. He's running, he's running, he's running. Okay, they're running. Yep, I see him. I'm. Need a bow. I broke his. I broke his. I broke his leggings. I broke his leggings. No, if he combat logs, we're slash killing him. If he, yeah, if he if logs. If he doesn't slash, if he doesn't slash kill himself, bro. Where is he? Where is he? Where I'm is on he? JPEGs. JPEGs on me. He's we're battling. Back. He's coming JPEGs back. Okay, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Down. I'm underwater. I'm. I, I'm beating the dead. He's so dead. He's gapping. He's gapping. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading behind. I'm heading behind. Oh, major oh, there are... oh, this is huge. This is huge. This is huge. He's gonna. I'm behind. I'm hide. Try and get on each side. Try and get on each side. Oh, he's solo. He's, he has to be solo. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, my shield is starting to deplete. Guys, shields are huge. Shields are huge. I haven't even used mine at all. No, honestly, what you do Kill Mavic, when go you're for up Mavic. against Mavic, Mavic doesn't know how to use an axe. You need to. Okay, okay. Go after him. Go after him. Go after him. Get rid of all the water. Get rid of all the water. Yes! Let's go! Get his loot. Get his loot. Get his loot. He had pots. He had pots. Um. Repot. Repot. Everyone. Everyone. Repotting. Repotting. Um, our oh, I heard our base has been destroyed. Our base, now. guys, guys, our base has been completely bombed. They cheated. They cheated. What? Oh, one out of our, ba our base has been. I, I just took a screenshot. Our base has been. It's not in spectator. Pull, pull. pull. TNT everywhere. Oh. TNT everywhere. All the TNT didn't work though. Pull, pull, pull. Then pull. Then pull. Oh, just pull, pull us all. Pull. All right. Wait, what do you mean? Pull. Uh, they're, they're, uh, placing, they're placing. They're placing. They're placing right now. It is. It is. It is. Who's here? Who is here? Uh, you guys should try to pull everyone else. He's invis. He's invis. Dude, who? Who is it? Is it Ro? No, they're flying too. Our base was attacked, and our only guess was that one of the members went into Spectator and revealed the location of our base. Right when we thought we had won is when we realized it was all over. The server owner then started counting down, and well, we could only guess one thing. Why are they counting? Oh, they're, they're, they're gonna end the server, aren't they? I think that's oh, what they're gonna no. do. Everyone hold hands! Everyone hold hands, guys! <laughs> come on! Come uh, on! We gotta celebrate our last moments! Guys, everyone, everyone, come on, Parrot, let's go! Parrot, come on! Everyone, everyone, come! We're gonna, we're gonna celebrate our last moments on this server. Oh my gosh. Scre so gotta get screenshots, you gotta get screenshots. You gotta get screenshots. Screenshots! Oh, jump from 50 to... Oh, what's going on? I don't know what... Yep, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be genuine right here. I actually thought this was going to be the end of Life Steal SP. I was actually kind of devastated after this because this was the most fun I'd ever had playing Minecraft with a bunch of YouTube creators that I enjoyed being around. And so not knowing that if there was gonna be a next season absolutely destroyed me. But it wasn't until after the server ended where me and Parrot and a few others decided that this needed to come back. We understood the opportunity we had and how much fun we just had playing together. So Parrot then created the Season 2 Discord server. And this is where my real story of Lifesteal SMP begins. And this is when I first learned how exhilarating the feeling of revenge would be. The server had just started and I needed a team because after 24 hours, it was hunting season. I teamed up with my friend Prince Sam, but just the two of us were severely underpowered and we would quickly be wiped off the server until suddenly Clown Pierce joined our call. Oh, Clown Pierce. <gasps> Clown Pierce. Said he want to be my if you don't know who Clown Pierce is, he is the top 40 crystal PvPer in the world. But because Clown Pierce is well renowned for his skills, he would be targeted by everyone. And that means me and Zam would also be on the hit list. So with this newfound friendship, we had to prepare and prepare fast. What?
Why did Clampus put the in bed? That's kind of <laughs> See, this is Spoke. Spoke is a part of Rochambeau's team, and well, I trusted him. I gave him the location of my base. We had thought Spoke and our team would be alliance, and for the little time left in the grace period, we were. You see, one of the server members was saying that they were going to go to the end dimension, and so our team and Spoke headed off to the nearest stronghold. This was my first time meeting up with Clown Pierce since the very beginning of the server, and this man already had max enchanted netherite armor. It had been literally 15 hours since the launch of the server. 15 hours! Because not all the server members were online, we didn't know if it was okay to go into the end dimension yet. So, my team and Spoke waited at the portal, just in case someone decided to go through. It's not fair if, like, you guys activate it and then immediately they have to do it. Oh, 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 they went through, they went through, go, go, go! Clompers, clompers! They haven't jumped in. Oh, 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 there it is! Oh, oh. Alright, here we go. PvP was still off, but the stakes were high. Whoever got the egg and killed the dragon would acquire the most rare item in the game. And well, I wanted this. Reason. I made this for a reason, Vortex. You guys are so Minecraft. Sadly, I failed to kill the dragon, but the egg was still up for grabs, and everyone wanted it. Probably stop the enemies. Probably stop the enemies. Are you fucking kidding me, Vortex? Oh my god. I did it, and you just scammed me. You just scammed me. I can't. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, get his loot, get his loot! Get his stuff! Get his stuff! Oh. Let's go! Oh my god! One of the other server members attempted to kill Clown Pierce during the battle over the egg, but Clown Pierce came up on top and killed them, and I snagged the loot. Now, with full netherite and the ender dragon dead, we need to find shulkers, but I had to be careful because if I die, I would lose that heart permanently. Oh, what's hacking? What's what's vape v4? It's the thing what's... I use to win your events every time. Yeah, what's x-ray? What's x-ray? What? That's a good, great card. I'm so tempted to win that Imagine Minecraft, but in like... Fosters. That's one way to put it. My pickaxe might break soon, and I... Yeah, mine too, actually. It's, it's, a, it's a problem. Guys, Can who's I gonna be the first... Got, who's gonna be the first player you kill? Well, I, you know, that, that is actually... Fuck, uh, guys. Wait. That's me being a stupid dum-dum and losing everything I had worked for the past 17 hours with literally only 7 hours left of the grace period before I would be hunted because of my lack of gear. This was a major loss, and while the only thing I could think of was logging off at this point, I was done. And, well, that's what I did. I logged off for the night. What happened? <laughs> oh you idiots. I can't believe you. Oh my god! The grace period was over and PvP was now allowed. With little armor and tools, I was far from ready to pick a fight with anyone. Clown Pierce was offline and me and Zam were left to take care of the base, so we started building and getting geared. Like snitch around. Yeah. Yeah, that is. With one less heart than everyone else on the server, I was much weaker, and that means I would be hunted by the other players of the server. I thought everything would be just fine for the next couple of days, but I was far from being right. Spoke was typing a bunch of questions in the chat, attempting to distract us, but at the moment, I thought nothing of it. 
Why <laughs> will so these breedable? All right, these these villagers are looking awfully breedable. And I'm submissive. sending the fiddler crab in feces. What the hell? Ask Leo if I should be allowed to say no, no. I don't to drop. Don't to drop. No way. Listening to copyright music. And just when I thought I was safest, I tabbed out of the game. Them. Take it. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. being killed. I'm being killed. And with literally milliseconds to react and a million decisions going through my mind, I did what I thought of first. Sadly, I died because of the combat log plugin. But the fight was far from over. Zam was still alive, and I had to find a way to save him. I could probably kill him to be fair, but I'm out of food. I probably have better stuff than them. I pull nether. Zam was in trouble. It was the two of them and only Zam left to fight. I had to come up with an idea. I'm I'm like out. Who killed me, do you know? Dude, my sword has sharp four and nothing else on it. they they have Rochambeau. They have Rochambeau. Never mind. This dude. Do you wanna run back to the base and I can try to block him off? Go down go down the mine, go down the mine, we can go down the mine. We can go down the mine. You, you, They've axed. You need to run to the mine and we're mine. And we're gonna, oh, the mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, mine, yeah. the mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Come, come, come. I'm come, right come. here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Go, 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 go. Go, stop playing. Stop playing. Go, 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 go. We're out. We're out. We're out. Go, 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 go. Through the portal. Through the portal. Through the portal. Do another. Get down and hide. Go, go, go. Down, 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 down. Yeah, yeah. Get, get soul sand. Get soul sand. Get soul sand. Don't block it like that. We're just going. We gotta go. We gotta go. We just gotta go. We just gotta go. We gotta go. Sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Give me, give me another. Give me another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, 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 take. I just have to hide. Take blocks. Take blocks. We had barely made our escape with the loss of once again another heart. Rochambeau's team was the one to attack us, and well, there was only one way they could have found our base. It was Spoke. He had given the cords to Rochambeau, and him and Parrot had came and attacked us when we least expected it. We were now undergeared and being hunted. We had to go find refuge at a new base. One of Rochambeau's teammates decided to join Hi, the call. Hi, Vortex. I have a I have a deal for you, okay? So, plot. Clown Pierce stole two of our hearts, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So if you give us one heart, we'll leave you alone. You want me to withdraw and... heart? No. Uh, I think Vortex, no, no, no shut the f up, Sam, alright? Okay, okay. Hey, we, parrot, we don't okay, negotiate man? with terrorists, alright? We don't negotiate with terrorists. I'm not You're terrorist. right. You know what? You know, you've got a fair point. We don't negotiate with terrorists. They hunted us down for no reason and now expected us to cooperate with them and accept a deal to give them a heart? I thought after this it would be the end of us being outlaws. But the next day, me and Sam were traveling to the nether to find a fortress, and this happened. We're already bashed in this quadrant, so we can go to the other Yeah, one. so we need to go to a completely different quadrant. <laughs> Uh, I think I have I have Oh. Anything bad happens, just know, I love you. Alright. <laughs> yeah, exactly He's, he's, he's doing am. his own thing, to be honest. I'll hopefully meet you there, but... Oh, I see someone, in the nether. In... Wait, Wait go back, go back to where you just were. If it's Parrot, I was right? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I found them. It's Ro. It's Ro? And someone else, in Vortex Dragon. Oh, shit! They're, oh, dude. they're looking at me. Oh, they're prowling to me. Oh, Leo. Should I fight? I don't know. No. There's a good number of them. Not gonna lie. There's two. I'm coming, Leo. Don't worry. They're chasing. I'm close. They have pearls. Like. <laughs> I see you. Do you? Yeah. Hello, Vortex Dragon. Oh, there's so many! What the f Oh, shit. run! I'm running. Oh, God. Dig down, just dig down, dig down. Dig down, dig down, dig down. Dig down, dig down. Dig down? Yep, yep. Oh, they're on me. Dig down, dig down, just dig down. Art of War. He has a fair point. Oh, f You good? Sam, you need to yeah. take the best stuff and run. Sam, uh, take the stuff and run. I'm taking the stuff and running. Sam, man. you need to go. You need to go now. Right now? You need to go. Right now. I'm hurrying. 
Right now, Zam, we had been hunted, our bases had been griefed, and our hearts had been taken. Me and Zam were done. We decided that we needed to get revenge, and it was personal. But we had one small problem. If we wanted to kick them where it really hurt, we had to find the location of their base. And well, this would be a much harder task than expected. Step one of how to get revenge on your mortal enemies in Minecraft. Know your enemy. Oh, I knew my enemy pretty well. It was a group called the Poggies Nation, and they have a team of six players, and every one of those six people want us off the server. And well, we could say the same for them. Step two, find your enemy. Well, this would be much harder than step one. First, you need to come up with an idea to find their base. And I had absolutely no clue where their base was. It could be three miles underground, or it could be in the end dimension for all I knew. So, we gathered some clues. We hopped on a call with Spoke, and he decided to screen share. When doing so, he accidentally gave away a very useful clue on where his base could be. <laughs> hey, what's up, Spoke? How you doing? The villager that he screen shared was from an acacia biome. And because there was dirt around him, we knew it probably wasn't very deep underground. With this new information, we now only had to search one out of the 60 biomes that exist in Minecraft. But there was a problem. Around only 5% of a Minecraft world is a savanna biome. And in a 50,000 block world border, that's still 125 million blocks to search. And even with an elytra, which are not allowed on this server, and the ability to only search savanna biomes, this would take days. All right. Plan number two, and this one might actually work. See, at spawn, there's a nether roof portal. And that means most likely the enemy nation would have a portal on the nether roof above their base. So what me and Zam decided is that we would search the entire nether roof in a 2000 by 2000 block range. And we could make this even faster by using horses and speed potions. But this idea was then shut down by Spoke mentioning that he did not have another portal. Okay, okay, one last idea. Here's what we do. While everyone was offline during the night, me and Zam would tunnel out Y15 inside the nether. Y15 is a common netherite mining level, so chances are that their team would have a massive netherite mine, because them having six players on their team. Me and Zam would make a tunnel all the way to the netherworld border, and once there, we'd make a diagonal through the quadrant. Doing this would maximize the chance of us running into their netherite mine, but we had one problem getting in the way of this plan. We didn't know what quadrant their base was located in. But with a stroke of luck, Spoke and I hopped in a call, and this happened. Hey guys, you want to find out your silly Minecraft name? Huh. Your first name is your X coordinate. What is your silly Minecraft username? There you go. <laughs> Damn, not to our base. That's, that's actually See, oh, what if I knew the quadrant your base was in, Mr. Spoke? <laughs> what is That'd it? be awesome. Is it right now? And it's uh, positive negative. It is positive negative. Good job. Mm, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. After guessing the quadrant of their base, I could tell that he wasn't bluffing. Spoke was telling the honest truth. And with this guess, the odds were with us. And after 22 hours of recorded footage of planning, deducting, and searching, we finally did it. It's another right mine. Zam. Zam, come here. Zam. This is the spot. Zam. <gasps> There's a portal. Holy shit. Let's go through. Don't move once again. <gasps> we found it! We found the base! We found it! We don't- we can't do anything. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. Me and Zem had located their base, and now we had one last step of getting our perfect revenge. It was a cold morning. Everyone was online and Rochambeau's team had just returned back to their base. It was just me, Zam, and Clown Pierce, but they didn't know what was about to happen. With a full inventory of potions and hours of preparation, we were undefeatable. So we headed off to their base. There's something else. Yeah, yeah. what's up? It's on our mind, and uh, I feel like we should discuss it. I think we really do need to discuss it. It is, um... All right, say it, spill it, spill it. Leo, where is it? Oh, uh, it's you know, it's around here. It's you know. It's gonna be the winner. <laughs> come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. <laughs> this is taking a bit longer than we expected. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This is a. Some cool happen, boys. Oh, uh, you guys should screen share. You know what that is? What like, see what's going on. You know what that is? Donda dropped. Oh, Donda f dropped. Donda dropped. Dude. <laughs> yes! Oh fuck, boys, going to shit. Yeah! Oh yes! Blood! Oh my gosh! Bro, I knew it. Where are they at? 
Over here, I mean, I'm in desert, desert. Go to the desert. Yo, Parrot, what happened? They're on me, dude. Yeah, they're, they're just farming they're... me at this point. Oh, Wait, they're no! farming you? What? Oh, shoot. Yeah, Where? How'd me. they get you? Spoke leaked the cords. Spoke leaked the cords. Where are you, Parrot? I'm on screen. Hey, Parrot. Are they at the base? Yes, they, they found our base. Yeah, they are. They are. Yes! Let's go! Oh my god. Oh, feels good. Oh my. Oh my gosh. That's pot right there. I think I found Rope. I think I found Rope. He's invisible. Uh, in desert, in desert. In the desert. Yeah. He's coming back. He's invis. He's in. Oh fuck. Where? I got him. Let's go. Oh, oh my god, he was in vis. Oh, it was right crap. It was right crap. I killed him. I killed him. You know what they say? The higher you are, the harder you fall. And fall they did. Ever since they first attacked us, we had set out on revenge, and now it was all over. We won for now. I won't lie, there was a few moments in that video where I was truly angry at my enemies. And even a few times where me and Prince Am planned on leaving Lifesteal after we finished our revenge. During that time on Lifesteal, I had true emotion. And every action I made wasn't for content, it was for myself. But now is when I wanted to push myself the most. I wanted to test my creativity and see if I could trap everyone on the server and come up with Minecraft's best trap. Ever since the start of this server, I would call myself the underdog. I have been tricked, unalived, I've almost even fell in the void a couple times. But now is the beginning of a new era, and to start off this new age, I wanted to make a trap. Not one trap, but enough traps to eliminate the entire server. The first step to this ambitious plan was to find the perfect design. I had a couple of options. I could use the void, but that's already been done. TNT is great, but doesn't really do that much damage. I wanted something that is completely unescapable. It'll put an end to any player that steps in it 100% of the time, and it needs to be easy to set up. And finally, after hours of testing and designing, I had finally created the Clown Killer. Why is it called that? Well, this trap is so powerful, it could even destroy the best player on the server, who has 10 extra hearts. Before we can start the trappings, I need a lot of materials. The trap by itself isn't too hard to make, but the materials needed to use it are extremely expensive. This is my potion brewery, and these are my potions. <laughs> I, I don't know why I did this, I'm a real life. Alright, for the next step, I'm gonna need armor stands. Why, you might ask? Well, armor stands have a very special secret use. When a player is inside a 1 by one block hole with an armor stand, they are unable to break, place, or interact. This makes them vulnerable to any attack. And after a little bit of tree chopping and stone smelting, we had all the materials to eliminate the entire server. But before we could trap the entire server, I wanted to start with one person. Recrap. Why him? Well, Recrap is known for trapping on the Lifesteal SMP, and he has been the result of many of my nation's losses. So, I wanted to get revenge. But how exactly would I do this is the issue. The one downside of this trap is that whoever you want to capture needs to be standing on a very specific block at the perfect time. And to get someone to do that can be very challenging. So I devised a plan. I tell Recrap that I'm trapping Clown Pierce and I ask him to help me and he joins me. Then I double cross Recrap and tell Clown Pierce that I need help trapping Recrap. I then make a fake but working trap that Recrap is gonna be using while trapping Clown Pierce. Then make another trap in Recrap's escape route without telling him, so that after he entraps Clown Pierce, I will pretend to spot him and run after him on our pre-planned route. When running, he will step on a piece of redstone, activating a pitfall and eliminating him. Once Rek is in the trap, Clown is then going to be Ender Pearl Stasis Chamber and out of there, and we all have our happy ending. Except for Rek. Simple, right? Now we just had to put this plan to test. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um, alright, so this, this, I don't think he's anywhere near, but we should definitely crouch. Down here. I have lanterns. That's right, we don't need it. It'll be t very temporary. <laughs> um, so down here we have your little little room for you. 
How okay. do you want like to? Uh, I can make another escape right if you want me to, so you can get out through here without having to mine. Oh yeah, because I, I can probably just run a redstone wire from here uh -huh. all the way back to like where the trap is. Oh, do you want to do that? That's eh, probably fine if I leave it like this. Oh okay. Um. Well, I I have a repeater, <laughs> a singular <laughs> repeater. We we can make it go more far out. That might help. I'm, uh, let's do that. Like so, I, I just uh, start making a redstone wire that goes alongside the tunnel this way. Oh, okay. This is the moment I messed up. I gave Redcrap the option to make another escape route to make him feel a bit more comfortable, but the luck wasn't with me. So I need to go get, uh, what's it called? Armor stints. Actually, I might have some of my energies. I never checked. I'm gonna go check. Okay. So, Leo, can I ask you about yeah. this real quick as well? So... I mean, there th there is a second armor stand trap in this tunnel. Really? Was, was that uh, was that meant for me? No. <laughs> 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 Honestly, what the hell was I thinking? I make this insane plan with all these little aspects to make it believable, and I'm the reason why the trap fails? What was I doing? But this wasn't the end. My original goal for this video wasn't to just trap rec rap. I wanted to trap the entire server. And just because of this loss didn't mean I was gonna stop anytime soon. So I created a game show. Yeah, a game show. With three main games, the first being archery, then ice boat racing, and finally, sumo duels. You might be wondering, Leo, what? Why did you do this? Well, I'll get to that in a second. But first, I had a job I needed to complete. My good old pal It Subs was online and streaming. Now, this would be the perfect time to trap him, but we didn't have a trap yet. So I called Mapic and Plant Lord online to help me because we only had one hour until he was gonna get offline. The gang was all here and we were headed to the end dimension, which is the location of a massive base that Subs was building. The audio quality in here is like a literal cathedral. <laughs> Hear that? What am I supposed to do about that? What am I supposed to do? Oh, really? A little while back, I joined a team called Peace Incorporated. The members of the team being Prince Sam, Mapic, Terrain, me, and Planet Lord. Because of me being on the same team as Planet Lord, subs would now know that we are up to no good. On my way? Shit! Oh, this is good, this is good, this is good! Alright, let's, we gotta go fast. Alright, make an area, make an area, okay. We now had even less time, and we haven't even came up with a design for the trap yet. This was about to get interesting. The trap was almost ready, but I needed to buy some time. So I hopped through the portal and went back to spawn in an attempt to distract subs. Subs! Oh my gosh! Leo, it's hi. good to see you, isn't it? That's well, I, I keep my promises. Alright, subs? I have some more traps for you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you this one. I've been working on this one for quite a long time, I'll say that. If you don't know, which you probably don't, a little while back, I pranked subs with a bunch of fake traps. Alright. Alright, come over here. Alright, alright. What have you done? Alright, uh, step on that first plate. Alright. Oh my- <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And so the idea was to bring subs back to spawn and distract him with some fake traps until the real one was ready. But instead of going to spawn like I thought he was going to, well, he just no. went to the end dimension. I could just well, spawn um, a wither through this portal, which is what I was thinking of doing, but like... Well, you should do that then. You should feel comfortable. Alright, you, you remember what I told you last time? Remember yeah, the there's a trap spot? in here currently. Okay. This is very interesting. Your trap didn't work. What are you doing, Poet? <laughs> Whoever's trapped this is- what, what am I in? He quickly escaped to the overworld and the fight was over, but the hunt had just begun. Yeah, I did because I wanted to find you guys, and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm not exactly geared for a fight. Hello, Leo. Can I, like, pot up in peace and stuff? Okay, I guess not. I found him. Cords are negative 500, 200. Leo, I would love to stay in play for a while, but believe it or not, my helmet's on 33% currently, so I really just can't hack chicken. He's right here, he's on me. At that moment, Subs was able to escape our grasp and retreat to his base. 
but Zam had been following in his footsteps, and now we knew the location of his base. They're saying, they're saying. Bomb yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, there's like oh, yeah, a video. Yeah. Right now, so. like, and I have another two sets I got. Oh, yeah, um, I gotta do a, a recall mission. Wait, no, I got myself. I, I forgot I lost something to Leo, but I got it back. This is the biggest dub I've ever taken on the server. No, one v one multiple right? times, sucks, to be honest. Come on, you gotta back yeah, it. Yeah, you have, you have, you have. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I had no gear. I'm never ready for fights on the server. I don't fight people. <laughs> Yeah, this could be a really good video idea. Actually. With my low supplies and tools, I wouldn't be able to PvP, but I could cause much bigger destruction. There was over a stack of TNT right under the base of his portal. All I had to do was wait. Hey, no, I got it. I saw, so you collected the heart like in your inventory. Yeah, here, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to contact her about that. That's a serious one. But for now, yo, this reminds me of another actually. Yo, this reminds me of another exploit. What were you showing? What were you showing? Uh, okay. So, hold on. Just, 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 Break? What? Interesting. I just, I mean? I just blew up his base. <laughs> Actually, did you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it made like 30, there's 17. Be planet lord. Thank you for after blowing up the base, I realized Subs had one of my most prized possessions, being my redstone shulker box. And if I wanted it back, I would need something just as important to him. So, at the perfect time, I snuck back to his base and stole everything. And I would appreciate it, you know, if you didn't steal it. I am I'm, I'm mean what I say, you know, just be nice, you know, no reason to not be nice. We can! We can! Yeah, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, we're so excited for a trade, now we can do it. This is so epic! Oh my gosh. So I have this wonderful shulker box. I also have a couple wonderful shulker boxes, just to let you know. <laughs> Notice anything missing? <laughs> just yoink my shulker <laughs> There's nothing really of importance. I know. I, that's why I have so many first. Look, I'm making a peen. The trade was completed, and I also died, but that's kind of irrelevant, right? With both of my attempts at trapping the server failing, I gave myself one more chance, and this time, I was gonna go big or go home. And because the entire server didn't trust me due to my traps, I hired Spectacle to do my dirty work for me. Yeah. Alright, this is uh, a carnival game, kind of. Oh! Oh, you got, you got a game business like a casino. I'm gonna start running a game. I'm making this, but I want you don't have uh, to you don't have to do anything. All right, I just need you to say right, something. No, you get to I need you to say this is yours. Let's go, free land just for me. Oh my gosh. Well, Wait, really, it isn't actually yours. Also, when I run this game show, I want you to be a host because I think you'd be a really good host, right? Oh, awesome. I would be a great host. You can you can be. announce all the games and you can do all the cool. All the cool little things. Once they're in the next game, you're gonna go down to the area with them, and then you're gonna be like, "Oops, I forgot. I'm not recording." And so you're gonna restart the game. Um, and then you're gonna restart the game, and then you're just gonna play normally. Pause it. Will be one heart. I'll give you one heart this right now. Such a though. hard task, though, Leo. It's gonna be really hard. Oh no! Don't worry. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth a spectacle. All right. Okay. Don't you worry. All right. Here's your deposit right now. Oh. The deal had been locked in, and Spectacle had no clue what he was about to be responsible for. Now, I just had to wait for him to host the game show. Everyone, listen up, alright? Hello, hello. Oh, sorry. Hello, why'd you punch me? Um, I want to introduce you guys to the fun times, sorry, fun- Stop hitting- you guys stand on the slabs here? So I can talk to all you at once. Alrighty, alrighty, everyone look at me. I want to introduce everyone to, to um, the fun time fun club. Uh oh, okay, okay, we're about to do it. Oh my god. Have you heard of the show Squid Game? It's like that. Wait, no, it's not like Squid Game. It's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like Fortnite. Wait, no. Th you still th die. There's, there's three games yeah. we do here. There's three different games. We start off with the Archer game. As you can see, there's a, there's a whole lot of targets here. And then, yeah, I'm good at shooting. we get a boat race. Two people are gonna make it to the finish line of the boat race. 
and they're gonna have a sumo battle, and whoever gets knocked off the platform wins. Three, two, one, go! This is sick! Wait, you guys are quick at this, holy! Holy! Okay, 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 well... The next game's starting, right now. Right now. Ah! Oh my gosh, holy! Jesus Christ. I was unprepared for that, go, go, go! Alright, I'm stuck! No, I fell off! Wait, 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 gotta go back, go back, go back! Everyone, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Wait, my boat's stuck. Everyone, I made it. Go, go, go. Wait, everyone, stop, stop, stop. My, my recording didn't go. Yeah. Okay, can we just like get some cinematic shots for me? Spectacle got them to agree on doing a re-record, and now I was ready. Any push-ups right now? Holy cow! Oh my gosh! Oh my tattoos so can get out. Crunches. Stop! I want to be in the middle. All right, are we ready? Let's I hit this. the switch. Boom! Okay. Now you guys start. Go! Wait. Let's do it. Hit the, hit the thing. Oh wait. Hit it. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh! Um, now you guys remember what's next? It was like three, okay, well, two, the one, the go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh what? Uh, oh what? Oh, wait. Yes! Let's go! Let's it? go! Wait, 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 wait! I can't eat. <laughs> oh my God! Wait. Yes! What? Wait. What? Lee Wook. <laughs> wait. Survive. Area. Wait. Well, I area? will admit, at some point, all this violence does get a little bit boring. So my next idea was to prank one of my own teammates. And this is Prince Sam, and these are his horses. I'm gonna take his horses, put them in a secret lair, and blow them up right in front of his eyes. Okay, okay, let me slow down a little. At the very, very beginning of this server, I stole Prince Sam's first pet. It was a horse named Jerry. I took this horse and buried it in the middle of nowhere. Why? Well, I thought it was funny. And now, I'm gonna be pulling off the most mischievous prank ever. I know the whereabouts of two horses. One being a skeleton horse, and the other one is Jerry the first. All right, I'm just gonna go grab this horse now. I buried this horse for absolutely no reason, and now it's coming in handy. So I think that. There he is. Now that I had one of the horses, I needed a place to hide them. So I went to the nether. I think this might be good. Let's go over here. What is this? All right, you know, this is a good spot actually. I swear to God, if my skeleton horse gets struck. I finished my horse pen, but now I need more horses, so I think I'm just gonna ask Sam some questions. Sam, what horse are you on right now? I believe 15th, but he's back at the mushroom base, so I need to like run back there. Oh my, that was easy enough. One simple question and I got my answer. Now, it was time to hunt this horse down. Let me give you some backstory. Prince Sam really likes his horses, and over the course of the server, he has owned 15 different horses, from Jerry the First all the way to Jerry the 15th. About half of these horses has been lost to time, and the other half, we don't really talk about that. And right now, I'm attempting to find the rest of the live horses. Oh my, horse, there's the horse. <laughs> Why do they laugh at my pain? They don't understand what it feels like to live one day in this cruel world. I'm treated like a monster, but I have a soul. I have a life. All right, all right, that's it. Right. Yes. All right, all right, all right, we got the horse. We have the horse. Now with two horses acquired, we had one more to find. And this one is the most important one, Jerry the First. The reason this horse is so important is because he is the heir to an entire horse bloodline. But we had one small problem. I kind of forgot where he was. I know at the beginning of the video I said I knew, but I didn't. There's three possible locations that this horse is at. The first is the jungle next to my old base. The next is at the Something Empire V3. And finally, uh, he could be six feet under. Let's not hope for that one. Okay, so here we are at the jungle biome, and I had no clue how big this biome was, so I might be here for quite some time. I'm not even joking, I have been searching for like an hour and a half, and I have not found anything, so I'm just gonna move on. Alright, the next location that the horse is possibly at is my very old base that me and Sam made together. We made this base because we kept getting killed at all of our other bases, and we needed a place of refuge. But, as you can see, that didn't work out too well. Oh, I could use this shovel. Take that. Oh, and a sword, I don't even have a sword right now. Oh, and this axe. 
Sadly, I do not think there's a horse here, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, it's all right, I'll live. With the only two possible locations of the horse not being correct, there was only one place it could be. It was six feet under. Well, kind of. After not finding the horse, I checked all of my screenshots for the cords to Jerry the First, and I found a screenshot that it could just be. It was a dirt two by two patch just the size to fit a horse. And so, I thought I would go check it out. I'm really excited for this, because this horse hasn't been seen since day one of the SMP. Why is there a beacon over here? There's just a random beacon. Okay, I know I probably shouldn't take the beacon, but I mean, beacon. I'm now nearing the location, but I gotta be very careful going back to spawn, because currently Zam is online, and if I get caught kidnapping his horse, I am done for. Somewhat close. <gasps> I remember, it's over here. It's like, I think right here. I buy the horse. <gasps> I think this is it. The subtitles. Oh my god. This is it though. This is the horse. After many months. Oh my god. And after hours of looking for the horse, I had finally found Jerry the First. I quickly headed to my base and deposited the horse. With all the Akus Kabalus found, we could begin the prank. For the prank, I wanted to make a secret evil lair, and then trap the horses inside and rig it to explode when Zam locked in. But I'm not much of an architect myself, so I called up Yad Jaren to help me out with the work. Why do you Why do you want to help me with my base? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I can get an efficiency for a shovel. Alright, um, I don't know where I want to make this yet. Where do you think would be a good spot? It needs to be kind of far away. Kind of, just a little bit though. Nah, you should make it at the base. I'm pretty sure Zam's following me. He's no longer oh, hi, following Zam. me. Hi, Zam. What? What are you doing here? Shut up! <laughs> You see, having Yad Jaren help me out would be quite the issue. Jaren had found the location of Zam's base many times and leaked the cords to the rest of the server. So if Zam saw Jaren with me, we would both be dead. Oh. Jaren, if I see you, I'm ending you. I hope you know. I'm very aware. I let you get away once. I won't let it happen twice. And yet again, having Jaren on my team brought up another problem. We both needed to get on the nether roof to grab supplies, but Jaren was stuck below the roof and the only way he could get back up was going through the portal that led to Zam's base. Okay, there's only one way for me to get to the nether roof, and that's by going through the portal. So I'm in the nether right now, I have to go through one portal in your base, I then have to walk all the way across your base, crossing the ravine, everyone will probably see me, and then I can go through the other portal that would take me to the nether roof. To pull this off, I would need invisibility potions to smuggle Jaren into the base. Oh yeah, they are hunting. Oh my god. I'm crafting potions right in front of Zam. <laughs> Nothing suspicious going on over here. VC? You should let the dogs in. Join the VC. That's distraction enough. Everyone's going over to- No! No, he found it! He found it! He found it! <laughs> oh. He's looking for you. He's looking for you. Uh, cover's been blown. Making, uh, some smoothies. <laughs> Bro, we're so gonna die. Alright, I got, I got, I got the potions. I got the potions. All right. Okay, so you know, so there's one portal that leads to another room. I threw it, I threw it. Go, go invis, and then I'm gonna distract him. All right, all right, all right, go, go through, go through, go through. Oh my gosh, you're being so suspicious. I'm passing? All right. We're going in, oh my gosh, Jake! All right, he's, go, he's going back down. Are you, are you through, are you through? I'm through, I'm through. Keep I'm running, running, keep running, keep running. All right, we're good, we look yep, good. Yep, yep, I'm heading to spawn, is that what we want to do? Yep, yep. All right, I think we're in the clear. We had smuggled Jaren past Prince Zam and acquired the supplies for the lair. Jaren and I had decided to make the evil secret lair right outside of Zam's base. And in order to do this, we would have to go through the nether portal that led to his base many more times. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna go back through here and I'm gonna scout some stuff out, all right? And I have a hostage, but a fugitive? No, I'm a fugitive. Yeah. King, I'm watching that dog video. <laughs> <laughs> there was literally three people, 30 blocks away from me, and if any of them spotted me, the entire mission was over. Oh, we're in a snow biome? That makes this so much cooler, I'm gonna be real. Oh, shit. I know they're my teammates, but I still can't have them see me. Okay. Holy shit. All right, all right, I'm gonna come through the nether portal now. I had finished the escape tunnel, but now I needed to sneak Jaren through. You just, you're just gonna need to follow me, all right? We're just gonna barrel up the stairs. I made a staircase. Okay. Uh, 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 all right, follow me, follow me. Go, are you through, are you through? I'm through, I'm through. Go, 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 Oh my god. Are right, you can put oh, your there's a creeper. You can put your armor back on. I think we're good now. 
With successfully making it out, we can now make our horse evil secret lair. Alright, on this hill seems like kind of a cool place. Oh yeah, this is sick. Alright, let's get to work. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of looks like a prison, but if you think about it, that is what it is. Jaren and I had finished the prison, and now we needed to transport Zam's horses. Well, actually, not Zam's horses. At the beginning of the video, I told you that I was gonna blow up Zam's horses, but instead, I'm gonna blow up fake versions of Zam's horses, and then reveal to him the real horses at the very end. So now, me and Jaren need to go find three random horses, and we only have 30 minutes to complete this task before I had to get offline. Sing the horse dance, they'll show up. Sing the horse dance? <laughs> Dragon! <laughs> Please bless us with some horses. Fun ideas. I found a horse. Alright, I'm gonna look for another one. Oh, this horse is god awfully slow. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so hard to find a horse? <laughs> oh, I found a horse, I found a horse. I found a llama! Okay, that's... There's a bunch of horses over here. And with all the fake horses acquired, we headed home. But when we got back to the portal, we realized Zam was still at his base. And then we also realized we were gonna have to sneak by three entire horses past him. We're just gonna have to end this up. Alright, ready? Oh, Zam's here, Zam's here. Go, go, go! Come on. Don't go through? No, go through, go through, go through. Okay. Come, come okay. to the, come to the area, come to the area. Come inside. Okay, you are. <laughs> alright, alright. Should we start getting the horses? Oh, there he is. All right, I'm gonna go first. He killed you. Oh my god. It's me. Oh my god. We gotta do this fast. All right, I need. I need. I'm gonna, I gotta leave this one. Oh, okay. They're suffocating. They're suffocating. It's not. It's, it's working. Working. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Sam's right there. He sees it. Hi, <laughs> George. <laughs> He may have found me, but he did not find Jaren invisible riding a horse. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put it up in the area. Just come back through, come back through, come back through. I think one of them fell down. One of them's on the ground, we're gonna have to rescue it off the ground. Alright, all right, this isn't good. Okay, okay. Alright, I gotta get this horse. Yes! Go, go! Fuck it up, fuck it up! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Literally everything that could have went wrong went wrong, but we ended up making it out. Okay, we're set. We're set. All right, dig up an area. Dig up an area. Oh my god. <laughs> we had secured all of the horses past Sam, and with five minutes remaining, we decided to do some tomfoolery. Oh my god, I could walk in with your diamond armor on. That would be so. Oh wait, and you could put my netherite armor on. Me and Jaren swapped armor, then splashed invisibility on each other to give the illusion of me being at Jaren and him being Leo Wook. Alright, alright, be like, hey. Okay, go hi Zam. Hi Zam. Hi Zam. Come over here. Go oh, hi Zam. They spotted me. They spotted me. <laughs> no, no, no. You're so dead. You're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get, get killed, get killed, get killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's so funny. <laughs> It was the next day, I would placed the explosives below the trap, and me and Jaren were now ready. So, I joined Prince Sam's VC to tell him about Jerry the First still being alive. For like, the whole time. Oh, really? Was, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. you saying that, yeah. Hey, yeah, Sam. No way he's alive. You wanna... Yeah. You wanna come here? Come up close to me, please, Sam. I have some information for you, Mr. Prince Sam. Jerry the First isn't dead. Nor lost. What? 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 Explain. 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 You, explain. you know Jerry the First... You know him. Explain. He's a staple. A Explain. staple of the community. I, uh -huh. I may have, um, took him on the day, the first day of the SMP. And I buried him. But I, I have him currently. Would you like them? Yes. Yes. Where are they? Take me to them right now. Alright. I'd hooked Zam into wanting his horses, and now we could bring him back to the base. Follow me, gentlemen. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. Wait, what? Alright, alright. Slow down right here. There's, uh, some precautionary actions. Wait. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> what did you build? Alright, just, just follow, follow my lead, please, gentlemen. Huh? Oh my god, you made a prison? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it kind of looks like a prison now that I think about it. <laughs> Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I think you should, you should see first. Follow my lead. Everyone. 
we need to follow as well? Get ready. I'm kind of nervous to see him, man. What if he's upset? He's going to be mad yeah, at you. Like he's going to be... Are right, you ready? You ready? Come on inside. Here they are. Oh my god. Here they are. Go. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Did you like that funny prank, Prince Sam? <laughs> Why would you do that? Right him, right him, he's dead. Jerry first is now officially dead. Also, that was Jerry the 15th and Jerry the 14th, just so you know. Oh my god. Sam. <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> no. Sam, I have one last thing to show you. You might recognize this place, actually. We might, we may have been here a couple times before. Sam, I have a possibly even more fun surprise than that. Sam, come this way. Welcome. Welcome. <gasps> Prince Sam. This is your horses, Prince Sam. It's Jerry the First, right here. This is Jerry the First. This is the actual Jerry the First. It's the actual Jerry the First, right there. You gotta keep him safe, alright? No tricks this time. The real Jerry the First. After this, I pretty much took a little break from Lifesteal SMP as a whole, but I came back hungrier than ever and I wanted more. This time, I wanted something a little bit more serious though. And luckily for me, Lifesteal Season 3 has just started. And it has been five minutes since we began, and the best PvPers are already attempting to unalive me. And no, I didn't do anything to them. They just want my heart. Oh no, it's Clown Pierce. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. They're killing me, they're killing me, they're killing me. Run, 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 run. Luckily, I did make it out alive, but unluckily, I now have an enemy that has twice the gear and 10 times more skill than me. Finding teammates was now absolutely necessary for survival. But instead of deciding to team with possibly the best fighters on the server, I joined Mr. Cube and Min Mystic. Now, even as a team, our player versus player combat was outmatched. But with some smart survival tactics, we knew how to quickly acquire some insanely powerful gear before anyone else on the server could. Yes. All right, let's see. The Nether was the absolute treasure chest of a pirate's cove. Anything ranging from gapples, enderpearls, and netherite, to even the possibility oh. of enchanted diamond armor. And since the server started less than 10 minutes ago, it was completely uncontested. Wreckrap just died to clown wood. No! No! Oh my no, god. god. Over here. Oh, get those, get those, yeah. Wait, Ashrag just died too. Shrek. Oh, there's a Bastion. There's a Bastion. Dude, tell me if anything's about to happen to me. Shit. Oh run, run, God. run! <gasps> no! No! I had died for the first time on the server, but because we're not just on any normal Minecraft server, I had lost one of my hearts permanently. And after my death, my motives had changed. No longer would I be some warmonger looking for chaos and destruction of the people. I wanted to form a team, a group of people that would devote their existence to protecting each and every last life of the server. Using my teammates I already had, I formed the People of Gallantry. Hello, Clown Pierce. We're the People of Gallantry, Clown. Look behind you. You look like you're a bit in a sticky. Yeah. And after saving Clown Piers from a hoglin, we had gotten our first mission. Yo, I just got a message from Ro. He says he wants us to kill Prince Sam. Even with our previous encounter against Rochambeau, we decided to put our past behind ourselves and trust him. But this wouldn't be the easiest of tasks. Prince Sam and his team are the biggest and most geared players on the server. So we needed to take our time and- Oh, there's Prince Sam! <laughs> Hello, Prince Sam! Your viewers are mine, buddy! It was all a lie. You remember that message that Rochambeau sent me? Well, yeah, that was just a ruse to get me away from Clown Pierce and his team so they could gear up and terrorize the server. Prince Sam was innocent and I just killed him. Guess what? You just pissed off the wrong team.
<laughs> we're gonna do that. We're gonna lure Clutch to an area, and you guys are all gonna like paraglide onto him. I had just received a call from Para asking me and Mr. Cube to help kill one of the members of the server. Wait, can I ask why you want to kill Clutch? Uh, I got a mission from someone to kill all the communists, right? But mm -hmm. in order to do, I'm not gonna like do it in some dumb way. Like I wanna, I'm gonna break a world record for each one. Parrot wanted to kill innocent people on the server, and as a member of the POG, I could not stand for this. We have to backstab. Oh, that's gonna be sick. Yeah. Have you killed anyone else yet? Well, I killed Terrain and he was so mad. I got him <laughs> with the- I dropped the stalactite from Y319. But we might lose everything. Mr. Cube was skeptical about this idea, but even with that, we had 15 minutes before Parrot's world record trap would be taking place. And I had yet to come up with an idea to betray the enemy team. I need levels because my sword has a, a name on it and it gives it a certain texture and it looks like a clown pierce sword and I don't want to have a clown pierce sword. And that's when I got the idea. Let me explain. In the settings of Minecraft, there's an option called Resource Pack. This allows players to change the look of their game. But in my scenario, I was about to weaponize this. By naming my sword L Taker, it changes the appearance of the weapon to myself and everyone using the pack. Even though our enemies were much more powerful and skilled than us, if we were to throw invisibility potions on everyone, Mr. Cube and I would still be able to tell each other apart, allowing us to get free attacks on our enemies without them knowing a thing. Alright, I just muted my mic in Discord, but oh my god, this plan might actually work. I really need Mr. Cube to download this pack though. Everything seemed to be going all right until this happened. Bro, Clown Pierce just joined. No. Even with our trick, it was still a 2v3 against the best PvPers on the server. We needed some backup. Hello. Mapic, Mapic. All right. So, uh, the reason I couldn't call you on Discord is because I'm in a VC with Parrot at the moment. Let me explain really quick, all right? Parrot is trying to kill, like, Clutch or Vortex or something like that, and he decided to involve us in the killing, right? As the people of Gallantry, right? We have to stop them. Backstab Parrot and, you know, Rochambeau and whoever else is there. If you could help us, that would be very, very good. Yeah, why not? I have two stacks of gold in my inventory, so I gotta get some of that, and then... Uh, I'm on my way. We had gotten our backup, and now all we had to do was apply the texture pack and brew some potions. Yes, it worked, it worked, it worked. All right. Was it just us? With nothing left to prepare for, all we needed to do was follow Parrot's lead and at the perfect moment, stab him right in the back. Go, 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 go. Oh go. my gosh! Here we go, boys! Here we oh, go! That was actually really quick. That's, that's, that's me. Yeah. With everyone invisible, we now had complete control over the enemy team, and they didn't know a thing. What the hell is happening? I have no idea. I know, but who else? I'm getting killed by two people. What is happening, bro? That's Mapic. That's, that's easy. Okay, easy easy target. Easy target. That's not me. That's me. That's me. Who is? Who's fighting me? Who's fighting me right now? That's that's Parrot. Parrot's critting me out. I think. No, what is happening, bro? Know. Who? I I, I'm being crit out by someone. Stop it. Yeah. Just focus, Mapic. We can kill Mapic. Dude, that's, that's Leo, bro. What? No, I'm not. I'm being killed right now. Are you kidding? I think so. Wait, who am I getting hit by? Let's go! <laughs> yes, bro! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's one for the count. We had killed Parrot, but the fight was still not over. There was two more to go. I suspected you guys turned. Yes! Yes! Box like a fish! Box like a fish! Oh wait, what? That was, that was not me, idiot. 
In all the chaos of the fight, I had just killed one of my teammates that had forgotten to apply the texture pack. But at the same time, Mr. Cube had also died to the grasp of Clown Pierce. Yes! That was nice. nice. Let's go, Clown! Nice, nice, nice. Wait, how many of them are left? Is it just Leo and Mayfic? With low supplies and resources, we had to put everything into this fight. With Clown escaping to the ocean and the enemy team re-gearing up, we had no other choice than to run. Dang. Go quick, go quick, go quick, keep running, keep running, keep running. Wait, 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 is that just bro? No, 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 there's three, it's three, it's three, it's three. We gotta run, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Just, just run, just run, just run, just run. They're, they're in separate boats, so Clown can't shoot us. Just keep going, just keep going. Keep Honestly, running. if we just take off all our armor and jump- Oh wait, I got water breathing. We, yeah, we have water breathing. I also have one. Oh shit. Keep going. Oh, right no, okay. I'm going down, I'm going get out, down. Get out in water, get out in water breathing, yeah. If you stay underwater forever, they're gonna have to go up eventually. Yep. That's really funny. Let's try that. Just, just go, just go, just go. No, they can't hit you. That's good, keep going, keep going, just keep going. Dude, this water breathing coming clutch. They don't know where I am. Good, I'm running, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. I can hit Clown and they can't hit me. Good. Okay. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. And I have Death Strider, and none of them have Death Strider. That's good. Alright, just keep going, just keep going, just keep running. We're good, we're good. We'd escaped the fight with the gear on our bodies, but we haven't won yet. Our revenge is still not complete. One down, two more to go. Ever since I killed the most powerful player, his teammates have been hunting me down non-stop. And in order to eliminate the rest of his team, I was gonna make them play in an inescapable escape room that with one wrong click of a button, they would go bye-bye. And just as I thought of an idea for the trap, I ran into, once again, another issue. So, you guys are the people of gallantry, right? Parrot and Clown are trying to kill you. My suspicions had just been confirmed. Ever since yesterday, after killing Parrot, I knew they would want revenge. But now that I realized I was currently being targeted by my enemy team, I needed to figure out Parrot's next steps. But just in luck, a player by the name of Vortex had just the thing. Leo, I have some information you might want to hear. Okay. Parrot wanted me to help him with a world record, but I found something else. So, you want to check it out? Here on Lifesteal, that's keywords for death trap. Yes. But nonetheless, he had free information about Parrot, so I hopped on the server and joined his call. Yo, Leo Wood. Hello. Okay. So I, I, gotta, I gotta tell you something, right? So basically, Parrot asked me to be like in one of his world, you know the world record video he's making, right? So I went there today, right? It, it's really weird, because there's this random hut there, right? And it has the lag type, so it's whatever you want to call him. To sum up our conversation, Vortex thought the same guy that was trying to kill me was also trying to kill him. Which didn't make too much sense, because last time I checked, they were teammates. But, because I still need information about Parrot, I decided to go along with Vortex's plan. Okay, yeah, I would totally be down to, um, to help you with that. And I thought everything was going fine, until this happened. Oh no. Vortex wanna do thing question mark? My sussed out levels had just reached the tipping point. First off, why is it when I agree to do Vortex's thing, Parrot logs on? Second off, what thing is Vortex doing with Parrot? I know I could just leave, but I was already in too deep. There was no going back now. But when I was just walking around looking for some clues, Parrot just logs out. Like, just, he's gone. His internet went out or something, I don't know. And then on top of that, I get sent a pair of cords with no context. I, I did not ask for them. I don't know why he sent them to me. Okay, so I just received a pair of cords from Vortex. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way here. See, I, here's what I don't understand. If Parrot's trying to trap him, how does he know the cords of the trap? Okay. <laughs> we're, we're gonna ignore that. All right. Oh, I think that's it. Okay, so here's how Vortex described it. He described it as a hut, and there's dripstone under it. Oh. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> See, everything Vortex told me was truthful. There was a trap there, but the story just didn't make sense. Why would Parrot be trying to kill his own teammate? I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm going. Ever since Parrot started haunting me, I have not had a single second to build my trap. But I made a plan to buy me some time. And all I needed was a set of diamond armor, the curse of vanishing enchant, and a book and quill. But my plan relied on Vortex's thing actually being a trap. But of course it is. It's lifesteal SMP, let's be real. 
Hey, I got in a little bit of trouble, and I'm in a situation at the moment. I kind of need your help. And after telling Mr. Cube the plan, he was all in. But right as we logged onto the server, we ran into a massive problem. Hi, Leo Wook. I had just made the mistake of being in a VC that any of the Lifestyle members could join, and the one member I didn't want just joined. <laughs> Me and Mr. Cube would now have to enact our entire plan in complete silence. How do you get in here? Right there, Parrot is referring to my front door, meaning he is currently attempting to get inside my base. Now, I'm not gonna give the villager all of the credit, but I'm pretty sure it just saved me from getting caught there. But besides that, I had all the materials I needed and I was ready for the plan. What was the plan? Well, let me show you. And that's when I got the message from Vortex. It was go time. Now all I needed to do was play along and hope my plan would work. But when I had returned to the place that we checked out yesterday, it was different. The shack that was originally there was now completely changed. Was this actually a trap? Or could it be something else? Vortex then showed me a new area and told me to stand on the block and look at the cords written on the sign. I did so, but nothing happened. No anvil? No trap? No ambush? Could I have been wrong? He then showed me the stasis chamber that I was originally supposed to pull. Just literally, all it is is... Well, let's stasis down here. He then led me to the stasis room, and the room turns out to be 100% empty, except for a bubble clump of water. This had to be the trap. It's just a stasis. Okay. Like but once again, nothing happened. I, I had no clue what was going on. Could I have been actually wrong? But that's when Vortex leaves the room and tells me that on his command, he needs me to pull the stasis chamber. We're And then I negative hear. 484. I, I got the go ahead, get ready. I pulled the I pulled the stations and nothing happened. Yeah, I, I def he definitely uh, backs at you or something. Okay, okay, get ready, get ready. I have ready. four seconds, I have four seconds, I have four seconds. But right when we thought we were gonna die, he just walks in the room, replaces his pearl, and tells me to do it again. Was he making a fool of me? What was his plan here? But then, that's when it happened. I got the go ahead, I'm pulling. Alright, he's here, he's here, he's here. What is he doing? There we go, get, get ready, get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go! Uh, 80, 80, 80, 84. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Yeah, get in, get in. 80, 80, yep. Okay. It might have looked like my plan just failed there, but in reality, this was just the beginning. My entire plan was to actually fall for Parrot's trap, and when he killed me, my curse of vanishing armor would disappear, and the only thing I would drop was the book in my inventory. But this wasn't just an ordinary book. It was a combination of characters and random code that would hopefully distract Parrot and give me enough time to make my trap. And by the messages he sent me, it looked like it was working. This whole video, I have been asking how to trap. But the real question is, who to trap? And I found just the person. I just made an indestructible vault. If you can break into it, you can have the contents. See, this is where Rochambeau got me. Rochambeau is on Parrot's team but he knows my dying love for puzzles, and there is no way I'm turning down this opportunity. So, I hop into VC with him. What's up? Hey, how you doing? You see, this is where I made my biggest mistake. According to this quote that I found on Google Images, never trust a friend who chills with your enemies. And while Rochambeau wasn't exactly my friend, but he does chill with my enemies. What are the, the chances of me dying? <laughs> Probably, they're not that high. All right, all right. And that was my second mistake. He said there was a possible chance that I could die, and I just blindly accepted my fate. I guess I really like puzzles. I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. Uh, all right. And your time starts now. All right. Oh my, what the? It was an ambush. I had to think fast. Using the course route, there was a tiny chance that I could teleport outside of the walls. What the fuck? What? <laughs> now, I may have been laughing, but this was no joking matter. I had just lost everything that I had been working for the past weeks. All of my efforts to outsmart Parrot were completely diminished by giving Rochambeau an ounce of trust. Rochambeau is now enemy number one, and I will not stop at any cost to get my revenge. It was now time to build the trap. All right, so right here seems like a pretty decent spot. It's really close to my base, which will probably help out a lot. Right now, I just need to dig out a giant space, and then we'll take it from there. 
Okay, okay, so I just finished the first two rooms of my inescapable escape room, but I just realized one huge problem. Killing Roshimbo with this escape room won't be a huge problem, but actually getting him inside will. This server gives you trust issues, and so I need to test if some random players will go inside without thinking it's a trap. I strive to be like Leo Look. Me too. Hello. Follow me. Okay, I hope you, I hope I'm, this isn't a murder attempt. I've, I've, I've had three assassination attempps in 20 minutes on my CL. It's not. I, oh my god, that looks terrifying. I, I really hope it's not, because I, I have so many levels and I don't I really don't want to die, Leo. You want this close one? I don't know, man. Is, is it worth it? Like, it's very... There's a chest in that corner. I, I don't know what's in that chest. Subs could be in that chest, for all I know. Yeah, I've had enough assassination attempts today. That's not... Ooh, I want to crack a table. Bye, Leo. I even tried making an emerald trail, and they still wouldn't budge. All right, you get your gift now. Here. Cook salmon. <laughs> even though at the time there was no trap, people just don't trust empty boxes. I needed to make this more believable. But I still have one problem. I need a way to make this escape room truly inescapable. To do this, I needed some sort of redstone activated trap that could kill any target instantly. And it needs to be inescapable. I thought of shooting TNT through another portal and obliterating the enemy on the other side, but it was a little too easy to escape and very unpredictable. I would need to think of something else. Ravagers are the highest damaging mobs in the game and can eliminate anyone in a couple of blows, yet these mobs are super inconsistent and hard to get, meaning it probably won't work. <laughs> My final idea is something I came up myself, and I call it the corner boat TNT thingy. Now, this isn't the most coolest trap, but it allows me to instantly kill the enemy with a 0% chance of them escaping. All I had to do now was to build it. It was now completely finished, and the last thing I had to do was to hire some of my friends to test and leave a review on the escape room. So when I got Rochambeau to try it out, he would trust it wasn't a trap. Blocks, no placing, you are allowed to interact. So that means like open chests and like clicking things, right? Just no breaking or okay. placing, all right? Nope. And I guess... We can begin. Okay. Wait, it's probably... Yeah, I'm pretty smart. There... No way. There you go. You know I have like at least an IQ of six. I told you, they scale in difficulty, all right? Okay. This is so cool. No. Oh, wait, that, that sign says press. This is so cool. Oh, holy... <laughs> I was worried. Let's go, okay. Yo! Are you kidding? <laughs> you teleported right onto that? Are you joking? <laughs> Oh shoot, it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow! Oh. Alright, there we go. Wait. Oh, freaking heck, freaking heck, freaking heck. Oh my gosh! Bro, I'm so dumb! <laughs> Let's try this one. The, do the door is open! Alright, oh. Oh, we're going through, Leo, we're going through. Alright, wait, wait, before we begin. This is your last room. Alright, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, there's a boat. Okay, wait. Wait, did I did I beat it? Yeah, you beat it. That was actually really fast. You you are the fastest. Yo! <laughs> no, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. That was then. That was fun. Well, thank you for playing. I would really yeah. appreciate if you could leave a review. 1.57 out of the two. Great experience. With my friend's review, I can now hopefully make it so that Rochambeau would go into my trap without knowing a thing. And your time begins once you enter the room. Alright, go. Alright, so I need the key, I think. Oh gosh. There has to be like a jukebox somewhere, I'm thinking. And there's a slab here. Alright, what is this? Uh... What are you thinking currently? I'm thinking there's either like a jukebox, or like one of the signs is different, so this water is looking suspicious. Um, and also this slab is looking awfully suspicious. Can I like... Oh, yum! Okay, let's go, let's go. It was off to a great start, but I still didn't fully believe that Rochambeau trusted me. And if he didn't, this could end badly. What do you think happens when you press that? I'm just curious. Can't be good. There's an ender pearl in here. Mm. This one says press. Okay. Oh, here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A chorus fruit. Oh my god, you you did that so fast compared to most people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Am I gonna get shot? It's I don't, I don't know, maybe. You might, might get shot. 
It's a very interesting strategy you got here. Not done by any of the other players so far. <laughs> Don't take. Do I trust it though? That's a good question. Up all of these. What happens if you do take it? What do you think, Ro? Uh, I don't know. You are three minutes in so far. Should flip all of these. It's <laughs> probably not the way to go, but I feel like there's like because all of these are glowstone. I feel like one of them's got to be different, right? Surely. Because like the whole room is like uniform, so I'm trying to find something different. Do you think it's safe to step on all these pressure plates? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Have you examined the entire floor yet, or 25 minutes remaining? Oh, let's go! <laughs> Fire charge. Okay, okay. Oh! oh interesting. I wonder I what I could do. In? How do I get in? How do you get in? Do you even get in? That's the question. So, you have seen seem to explore the floor. Maybe you're missing something that is not on the floor. Or in the nether portal. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, what was that? Oh. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> pit. A pit. Oh, I'm not invisible anymore. All right. You're very trusting of this pit. Get... This is scary. 20 minutes Where's... remain. All right, I'm sending it. Let's go. There he goes. Oh. What do you see over there? Boat on the other side. It looks like kind of like a reflection of this room. Interesting. Um. What was that? Oh, there's a lever. Interesting. I think I can reach that. I think I can reach that. Oh. Oh, maybe you gotta be faster. How oh. did I not click it? You you got it. You clicked it. Oh. There you... Okay. Deep slate. Okay. Okay. What changed? Also, there's something. Okay. So there's grass here. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I could like update this somehow by like growing grass. Interesting. We got a we got a baked potato. That'd maybe up to like. I don't know. Where are we just clicking? <laughs> this thing. Oh, that's very interesting because that's supposed to open the door. <laughs> um, oh, it's technical difficulties. <laughs> Even with the technical difficulties, I still had Roshambo's trust, and it was only minutes until he would be falling to his death. <laughs> My apologies. All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Interesting. <laughs> it's, uh... Let's go. Okay. All right, so redstone, I'm screenshotting this, redstone, nether brick, spruce planks, armor stand, nether quartz, bone, pressure plate. 15 minutes for man. Okay, okay. The bones can make bone meal and go like this. That's it. Okay, something happens. Came from like over here. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That took me too long. Okay. So we got a boat. It was now or never. I needed this trap to work, or I might never get the chance again. Oh, is this like the wreck thing? Oh, is it this corner maybe? After months of planning and execution, finally, it worked. I won. Let's go. Yes. Oh my God. God. And this is where things start to get crazy. Following this revenge, I was even hungrier than ever. And that's when I did it. That's when I ended the server. And it, it was, was all my fault. Oh my, my own teammates dying right in front of my eyes. The complete destruction of the entire spawn. And for what? Just the taste of power? Was it all for nothing? Killing my own teammates? Betraying the ones who cared the most? And breaking the server's code? Did any of it really matter? And it all starts with him. Redunes. Now this guy is the evilest of the evil. In the center of spawn, he lives in a tower ruling over the server. And I'm tired of his tyranny. His bullying, manipulation, and greed needs to be stopped. But first, I need a plan to stop him. I, I have a proposition for, um... A server domination. In other words, an alliance. <laughs> an alliance? Oh, yes, okay. Redunes, Redunes. I didn't just walk to the top of Redunes Tower to team with the evilest person on the server, but because I wanted to betray him. I'm gonna need some collateral. I'm usually very neutral unless people have what I want, which is usually everyone. For me to gain your trust, I gotta know that you're on my side. Redunes didn't exactly trust me. This betrayal was about to take a long time. 
long time. That's exactly what I thought until I was doing one of Redding's chores and I found this. No way, I just found the subscribe button. Literally only 11% of you are actually subscribed, so please do subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. All right, back to the video. No way, I just found tipped arrows. Now, to most, this might seem unimpressive, but on a server where most potion effects are banned and the tipped arrow counterparts, this was about to change everything. But there was one small problem. I guess not. Oh wait, no, I can buy tipped arrows, it's just I can't pick them up. The server plugin stops me from picking the arrows up, but with a few hoppers and a dispenser, dude, I just got strength. Dude, dubs after dub. The plan had now just changed. Okay, so take this and the harming arrows, shoot me. Oh, no freaking way, bro. That does so much damage. On top of finding a way to exploit the server, I found a way to exploit Minecraft. The thing that's interesting about tipped arrows is that the less you charge your bow, the more damage it does. Meaning I can literally two-shot someone using these tipped arrows. Sure, this might help me kill Redunes, but ever since the beginning of the server, Redunes has killed player after player. And on this server, for every person you kill, you gain an extra heart. Meaning Redunes is currently at 20 hearts. And I don't want to just kill him once, I want to ban him off the server. Meaning I'm going to have to kill him 20 times. I need a better plan. It's a seven, seven step plan, seven day plan. We need your help to do this. We need to overthrow Redunes and Sockank because they're kind of becoming the villains. They're super powerful. They have everything, right? All right, so oh Mapic, Mapic spoke. Are you down to help me with this? Yes. Let's go. Um, when do we want this to be done by? Uh, well, it's a seven day plan. So whenever we start it, seven days after. And with my newfound team, we created a base of operations. It's capable of producing thousands of illegal arrows per hour, but we still have one problem. Killing Redunes is not gonna be easy. Even with our exploit, there was no chance we could kill them. With over triple our total heart count, we needed to find a way to gain some hearts. Thanks, I... Yeah, oh, I found him, I found him, I found him, I found him. We can talk about this. Wait, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? I'm sorry, oh. Jerry, we didn't want to. Are you trying to... <laughs> Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> <laughs> the arrows actually worked really well, and I also had gained an extra heart, but we kind of felt bad. Should we give Jaren his stuff back? It's kind of, it's kind of mean. We should give him his stuff. I've always thought of myself as a hero, but in the people's eyes, I'm about to become the villain. They only will understand once Redunes is banned. I need to hide my true intentions from Redunes, so we need to make it look like we're killing players for a reason other than just power. Is go, it, is go, it? go, 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 go. Hit him with the thing, hit him with the thing. He's not even fighting, bro, he's so sad. <laughs> and player after player we killed, we became known as the Cleansers. Serving for the greater good of the server, we killed everyone in our path. No one knew our true motives. I couldn't even tell my closest friends. No! Yeah! I'm sorry, Q. Leo looks! I'm so sorry. I'm Leo looks! So he was your teammate. Damn, dude. It didn't matter though, because once our goal was accomplished, they would soon understand. But there was still much more work to do. With 27 players on the server, stealing one heart from every player would be just enough to take on Reddy. Oh, no, no, we tried last him. night killing him. I killed him. Oh, as we continued bad. the killings, players started to retaliate. A group now known as the Dirties began attempts to assassinate. Jaren's trying to kill me right now. And although our progress was halted because of them, we couldn't stop now. With only three days left until we kill Redunes, at this point, we are pretty much checking off the illegal checklist. Uh, okay, in, in the rules, it says no gold farms and no use of illegal items like tipped arrows, but we just have to keep it on the down low, all right? But word had gotten out. And when I was in a call with a player by the name of Ashwag, he said something that piqued my interest. I know where the secret base is. I know where the secret base okay, is. Okay, where's my secret base, base then? Silly. I know how to access it. I don't okay. know exactly how? what it is. How do you access Why it? Why would I tell you? Right Ashwag now? is known to instigate and cause chaos, so he was obviously lying. Do you even know my secret? I'm not you telling know? you because someone who's teamed with you told me, and if I tell you, then they're gonna find out who's not teamed with you, and they're gonna be like, "What's the point?" I'm no. That level. doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna be real because why would I figure out no. out of the five? Bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty and twenty five <laughs> pesos with you. You have no idea what's happening right now. I think you're playing mind games right now. I know. Thirteen rubles. Ashrag, you're silly, man. With Ashrag being a part of the dirties, I knew he was just playing mind games. Until the very next day, I was notified by my teammate Spoke that our base had been found and attempted to be destroyed. Our base being discovered didn't worry me as much as Ashrag being right. Did this mean that one of my teammates could be betraying me? There wasn't much I could do other than hope not. But the message of our killings continued to spread, and the players got more and more angry. We couldn't tell them our true motivation in fear of Redden's figuring it out, but 
What if we made up something else? <laughs> Here's the thing. Every player only has to contribute once. If that's from asking or if that's from force. Right, what's, we'll, your, what's your like motive with all of this? Like, is it, is it... Everybody will gain on the day of the cleanse. But then, I, don't, I don't understand it's your more, motives though. Like, that, that's okay. Quality. That's part of the, the thing. That's part of You're our... You're not supposed to understand. You're not supposed to understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> understand some, currently. This is a dumb villain story from No, anime, we're not bro. villains. We're not villains. The villains are the people <laughs> stopping the cleansing from happening. Our goal is to <laughs> cleanse the server. Everyone Everyone must contribute to the cleanse in order for it to begin. We just need one heart from every player. We were pretty much now the server-wide villains. I was basically the furthest away I've ever been from being a hero. But it wasn't all bad. I had something that I've never had before. Power. But with only a few more hearts until we could face Redunes, I needed to stay on task. Oh, Vitality. Vitality's right here. Alright, alright, someone hit me with strength. Okay, just go, just go. Going in. Nice. Okay. He jumped in. Should I go in? Yeah, he jumped in. Yeah, he Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Under the lava. Go, go, go. Oh my god, this is a reference. Oh my god, this is a reference. If we kill him here, then. Here, there, there. You find him? F3A, F3A, F3A. Yeah, there, there, there. Strike me, strike me, strike me. Sorry, it's really confusing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Cobb up, cobb up, cobb up, cobb up. Yeah, cobb up. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Use your arrows, use your arrows. I hate you, strength, maybe? Probably not the best idea, but yeah. Good job, good job, oh, good job. Nice. Let's go. Everything seemed to be going smoothly. With only 48 hours left until the cleansing, we would have enough hearts in no time. But we had to make sure everything went perfectly. If there was a single hiccup in our plan, everything could go wrong. And knowing that our base location has already been compromised, we decided to move. Let's just let's just stock up on arrows right now before we leave. Like, a, like at least five stacks of each arrow. Oh, okay. There's also TNT. Why? There's TNT everywhere. Games. There's what? literally so much TNT. It's caked. Are they plan on blowing us up. Yup, 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 yup. Okay, okay. That's so, so, thank God we're moving, bro. Oh my God. Someone had planted TNT within our wall. Oh, Luckily wow. enough, we hadn't been affected by it at all. But now we knew someone was out to get us. With 45 hours until cleansing day, we took every last illegal item with us and built a new base, far away from any sort of danger. We progressed our base, but time was ticking. 45 hours, 40 hours, 35 hours. We were losing time and fast, but we still had three people that we needed to kill. Recrap, Clown Pierce, and then finally, Redding. All we need is one heart. Well, I mean, yeah. see, I tend to not do business with people who try- This is not business, we've already, we've already, we've already this said that. Business. I prefer to stay alive. Both Recrap and Clown Pierce have been avoiding us since they heard of the cleansing. But if you catch them at the right place and right time, then just maybe, and just maybe, you have a chance of killing Rack them. Recrap is not. He's collecting materials. If he sees you, you're screwed. What now? I said going in. Are we going for the kill? Do you see him inside? They are building right now. Um, You come from left side. You ready? I'm right next to you. Oh, uh, get to the left side, get to the left side. Oh, they're right there, though. It's right grab, right, right grab's right there. He's over here, over here. Okay. Sneak over here. He's literally right here. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Crouch again? Oh, shit. You ready? Go, 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 go! You got, you got strength, you got strength. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! With Recrap's heart taken, there was only one more person we needed to kill before the cleansing could begin. Clown Pierce. Known as the server's best PvPer, he most definitely stood up to his name. But with our game-breaking exploit, he would stand 
absolutely no chance. Except we really didn't need to kill him. We had enough hearts to take on Redunes now, and it would be best just to play it safe and wait until the day of the cleansing. But it wasn't long before fate decided to change my mind. Get bad omen, like right now. There's a village. By the way, whose portal is this? We are like 300 blocks ahead of where we're supposed to be, by the way. 300 blocks off course of our base, we found another portal. It is a village, all right. I did not build this. With the clowns, clown, clown, clumpers, clumpers base, clumpers base. Are you joking? No way we just found, oh my God. Oh my God. I gotta do F3 plus A, F3 plus A, F3 plus A. <laughs> Are you joking? How do you know? No way. The, the clip, the clip. Using a clip of Clown Pierce's last death, we matched it up and found his spawn point. Now all we really had to do was wait till he came back to his base. But as time went on, he never came back. We waited and waited and waited, even to the point where we started building unnecessary illegal farms just for the fun of it. Our focus on killing Redunes was blurred, and in the few hours before cleansing day, we made it our one primary goal to kill Clown Pierce, which was pretty much a pointless task to flatter our own egos. And it wasn't until I found Clown Pierce's closest teammate. Knowing that if I kill him, Clown Pierce might just come out to play. I did what I had to do. No. I found Brandy. Do I kill Brandy? Do I kill yes, Brandy? Yes, yes, uh, yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Honestly, I kill Brandy. Kill Brandy. Possible content I could have gotten that make my u video unique. God. I can literally peace boat gets here. Mm. Now that Brandy was dead, it was Let's only go. a matter of minutes before Clown showed that. up. Give me some. I don't have any pearls. I found Clown Pierce. Good. Guys, I found Clown Pierce. Where's yeah, Leo, please right. set your location, please. Uh, negative 500, 500. But right when we started fighting, something was up. No, he's right on nether the roof, roof, nether roof, nether roof. And Guys, he's using tipped arrows. He's, he's Wait, in. Stop giving stuff back. On the we're, done, we're done giving stuff back, okay? That's why I died to Branzi. Hey, and that's why Leo might die to Clown. I am kind of at your cords, Leo. That's really funny. I'm at the Leo Accords, but under the roof. No! Holy shit, bro. Clown Pierce had somehow found a way to acquire the same tipped arrows we were using. I just let my ego get ahead of myself, and now I was served a detrimental loss to our own plan. Losing all my gear in one heart, we could just re-gear and wait to kill Redunes, but I had just been humiliated, and now I wanted revenge. I needed to gain my pride back. I re-geared and was ready for revenge. I even that found an crazy. exploit allowing myself to hold quadruple the amount of gapples allowed on the server. Guys, I broke a rule. I broke a rule. <laughs> Look. Whoa, what the? Yeah. What, how, 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 how? And that's when we got news of Clown Pierce's location. We gathered the entire team and headed toward the cords, ready to take revenge. Guys, or that was fighting next to me? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like yeah. on the street. Okay, Vital Vitalis is coming for you. Vitalis is coming for you. All right, wait, can you give me cords, Leo? I found a dolphin. Can you give me cords, Leo? Um, negative 600. There's more, there's three, there's three, there's three. We got more than here, we bargained here, here, here. for. It wasn't just Clown Pierce. It was an entire team. Guys, use your pearls, Guys, use your pearls. I don't have a shield. I, no, I might be, I, mm, I can't block his arrows. This is hold so on, bad hold on, hold on. I don't know where the thing is. Okay, Leo? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. It got was pretty much the entire server using our tipped arrows against the four of us. I think this is Paradigm fighting. I'm shooting his team. arrows, arrows. You guys need okay. help? I'm, uh, no, no, no. What do you guys think? Dude, I'm so lucky that I have invis. This, this, this is this the most be insane fight no. ever. <laughs> I'm going for parry. I need to equip my pack, bro. I don't have a, I don't have a pack on at the moment. Bro, I need to be fighting with you guys. What am I doing? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Sam, just do the plan. Bro, no! I, w I was equipping a pack. Oh my god. I had made a stupid Damn. mistake, and it just costed me another heart and another gear set. And now we knew the entire server was against us. With them using our exploit, we had no chance. We got too ahead of ourselves and left our original mission behind. The pearl out, we can't do shit. I, I died. No! And my teammates oh, my were dropping like flies, losing all of their hearts. We're gonna kill Clown off the server, agreed? Wait, yeah, can we kill Clown off the server? Fuck. Well, no, we're not killing Clown off the server. You're silly for that. We need to get out of here. I didn't want to kill Clown off the server because it was leaving our original scope of the plan. But it wouldn't be that hard. We knew where his base was. We knew where his spawn point was. All we had to do was kill him once, and then the rest wouldn't be too hard. And plus, we would surely have enough hearts to kill Redunes. But just killing Clown Pierce once was going to be a near impossible task. With an entire army to back him and 20 hearts to his name, our chances was slim. But 
we had some tricks up our sleeve. Knowing that Clown Pierce was now using illegal methods. Guys, I have protection for, just so you know. We were gonna use any exploit that we could get our hands on. Oh. Breaking the server enchantment limiter, exceeding the allowed gapel and pearl limits, and even using an illegal totem farm so we could craft numerous amounts of parts. We were in an all-out illegal war against Clown Pierce and his army of the entire server. But that's when things took a turn. An anonymous player sent us a screenshot showing the creation of an unknown group. The group being made up of some of our biggest opponents, what could this mean, and what were they up to? From the same source, we were told that after we had all gotten killed by Clown Pierce, he wasn't sharing his hearts between anyone except these four people. Now, we couldn't be sure of it, but it appeared that he was forming some sort of coalition to hoard all of the hearts, and while doing so, he was leaving everyone else behind. Now, this wasn't enough evidence to get everyone to turn against him, but we did gain a new member to our team in efforts to fight Clown Pierce. But with less than 24 hours until the cleansing, we needed to prepare. At this point, I was dead set on killing Clown, and if we wanted things to work, a plan would be necessary. During cleansing day, we can have one of our new teammates be ready at Clown's base for him to respawn. This person will be responsible to kill Clown Pierce off the server. Meanwhile, the rest of us will be on the battlefield fighting. Once we take Clown Pierce's hearts, then we can move our focus towards Redunes. Hopefully, Redunes will be a bit easier because he's not expecting it. But just hours before the big day, an announcement was made. Clown Pierce said for anyone who wasn't a cleanser to meet 15 minutes beforehand at Branzi's castle. This was weird. The message being sent to everyone, Clown Pierce meant for us to see this. And combined with the message about needing TNT, something bad was about to happen. Oh, Alright, All right, everyone. Guys, I dropped my gaps now. Today is the day. Today is the day that we cleanse. Alright, boys. Let's go. Are we ready? <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Ooh, I got the oh, adrenaline pumping. I got the adrenaline pumping. Let's go in. Wait, I think they're here. They're here. They're, they're here. They're here. Put up, put up, put up, put up. Put up, put up. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's Jared. Should I kill Jared? Who's in this? Who's in this? Who's in this? I don't know. My time, baby. Dude, this is the. We're sieging the castle, bro. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? I see clown. I see clown. Hey guys, it's not blown up. It's not blown up. It's not blown up. Watch out. Watch out. There's yeah, still a bomb. There's still a bomb. There is a bomb. There's yes, a bomb. yes. Be, be careful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out. Get out. Get out. Run, get out. Run, run, run. We were right. There was a trap. I'm not but luckily, surprised. since we knew ahead of time, return, return, everyone survived. Regroup, regroup, regroup. Here we go. Here we go. This is the fight. This is the fight of our lives. This is the fight of our lives. I'm ready. I'm ready. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. He's running, he's running. Go, 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 go. Oh, TNT. TNT is still here. Shot. No, no, no. Yeah, guys, yeah, we gotta yeah. take our time. Take our time. Calculated. Play this yeah. like chess. Yeah, play calculated. Play calculated. Yeah. Oh, guys, I see Cloud. I see Cloud. Oh, Cloud, that's right. Go, go, go. Right there. Here we go, here we go. Back out, back out, back out, back out. Hold your shields up. Oh, Cloud, please push it. Cloud, please push it. Let them run out of arrows. Let them run out of arrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring their arrows. Bring their arrows. This person has to watch out. Ash, 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 Ash. Get him. Yeah, yeah. No, side, side, side. Watch out, don't go inside. Don't go inside. Don't go inside. Slide, slide. Hold shields, hold shields. Just hold your shield, hold your shield. Hold yeah, hold your shield. Hold ground. They can't do anything. Watch out, sorry, bro, sorry, bro. No, you're good, you're good. Over here, over here, over here. Coming. Okay. On your, on your left, on your left. Copies on your left, copies on your left. Watch out, watch out. Bro, 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 bro. Call him, call him, call him. Call him, call him. Call him. Go, go, go. Dude, dude. Immediately throws out. Go, go, go. On the right, on the right. Clans over here, clans over here, clans over here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's just play watch, watch. Gap, 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 gap. Careful. Gapple if you have to. Push forward, push forward. Don't let them run, don't let them run. They know they're losing. They know they're losing. They be careful though. Guys, check your armor, check your armor and everything. Yeah, yeah. Hold shields, hold shields, hold shields, hold shields. Hold shields, hold shields, hold shields. The Roman Testudo, let's go. Oh crap. Watch out, Brent. Gap, 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 gap. Nice, nice, nice. One of them is shooting regular arrows. Got him, got him in top of us. Help, help, help. Someone, someone on the dirty. I don't have virus. Uh, someone, crap, okay, crap. that's my pick. Uh, someone on the recall. Get right up, get right up here. Yeah, yeah. Ash is low, Ash is low, for sure. Sorry, I spoke, sorry, sorry. We can, honestly. He wants me dead, bro. Yeah, Clint's cl cl on us, Clint's on us. Prince, Zam, 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 right here, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, oh, help, help, Mapic, help, Mapic, Mapic. Clive's no. on you. Oh my god, I didn't eat! Oh, no. I didn't eat! No, it's cool! Spoke had died and our plan was crumbling. We needed to escape. I'm back, I'm back. Oh my god. I'm back get in. Get the extra armor, get the extra armor. Just run out, back just run out. out. Back out, back out. Idiot, move it's on. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can regroup. We can always regroup. Okay. Over in front, back in front of the... Where is it? My crystals! Yeah, I know. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm getting 2v1. I'm getting 2v1. I got... Come on. 
Clown on your left. Clown on your left. Yeah, okay, yeah. we're getting we're outnumbered, outnumbered here. Outnumbered we're outnumbered severely outnumbered. Just run. Just run to the empire. Just run to the empire. We had just lost Spoke, my closest teammate throughout this entire journey, and now we were severely outnumbered, and things seemed just to be getting worse. But when passing by the dirties, even though I had a cleanser shield, they weren't trying to kill me. Maybe they knew something was up. Maybe they knew Clown was bad, and they just didn't know what side to choose. But the fight had to go on. My teammates needed help, and I had to come to their aid. Where are you guys? Where are you guys right now? Where are you guys right now? Okay, it's just me and Ro right now. Um, go, Leo, Leo, where'd you go? Leo, where'd you go? Meet up with Vapic, meet up with Vapic. Kill Stick together. Just get wrecked. Just get wrecked. Training a pearl. Just keep bowing. Keep bowing. Okay, actually no. Yep. Don't fight him. Don't Once again, the same people that I thought was trying to kill us, it looked like they wanted to team. They wanted to help. Thing is, the thing is, Hanky has gear. He has the he has arrows. I'm just gonna drop him hearts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Be careful. I'm, I'm invis. I'm invis. I'm invis. Right behind you. Behind you. Me. 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 Okay. Okay. Dawn okay. on your left. Do you wanna pick up Dawn? There's Jaren. There's Jaren. Jaren should be good. Yeah, yeah, Jaren's okay. I'm milking, poison clown, I'm poison clown, I'm poison clown. Oh, 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 crafting table. Nice, nice. Clown's killing Dawn, clown's killing Dawn. Wait, guys, help, 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 help. Thanks, we're too, we're too spread, we're too spread, we're too widespread. Stay together, spread. stay together. Clown's poison. Nice. nice. Boom up. Oh, crap, crap. He's in cobwebs, he's in cobwebs. Clown in cobwebs. Man. That's okay, it's okay. Behind you, behind you. just three of us. That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. It was just the three of us versus everyone. This was a losing battle if things didn't change soon. But that's when we decided to leak the screenshots we were sent by the anonymous user. And people started to finally understand. We aren't the bad guys, and we need help. Behind us, behind us, behind us is Subs and Vitality. Yeah, 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 they're, they're, they're friends, good, they're, they're friends, good, they're friends, they're friends. friends. The cavalry, bro. Oh my god. It looks like the cavalry was finally arriving. What? Yeah, get with us, get with us, get with us. Hey, admitting Cuba here, admitting Cuba here. What the? Oh my god. Let's go. Oh my god. Yo! Run, run, run. Get away from us, get away from us. Just run, just run, just run. Are, are the dirties helping us? Yes, yes I think so. Dude, no someone, way. Someone say all- Wait, we need to group up. Where are we? Where are we? I thought we were going to lose, but now, with most of the server backing us up, as long as we stick to the plan, things might just work. City, I got eyes on Wrecking Clown. Okay, Spoke, are you still in town? I have armor. No, 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 it's okay. I'm switching with Panky, okay? I'm switching but with But Spoke Pengi. decided to change the plan. Switching spots with Pengy, he is now responsible for killing Clown Pierce off the server. But more importantly, he won't be there to fight by my side. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Oh I have 15 hearts now. Hello, guys. Regrouped and regeared, we were better than ever and off to kill Pengi, Clown Pierce. Yeah, yeah, where, where, where? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, here we go. Take two. We got this. And it didn't take us long before we found him. It's Clown! It's Clown! Zoo, 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 go to the zoo, go to the zoo. He's pulling over, he's pulling over, he's pulling over. On me, on me, on me. He's at the saucer, at the saucer, at the saucer, at the saucer. He's running, running, he's running, he's running. Wait up, you can't trying to do me. Charles, can't try to do me. I'm here, Leo. You got this, you practiced it. Dude, I should have four of our chop on the best. Go, 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 keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing. Keep chasing. Oh, okay, okay. A little bit, a little bit over here, a little bit, a little bit. He's low, he's low, he's low. Chase, chase, chase! Oh I see you, I see you guys, I see you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's lowest, he's lowest, he's lowest! Get him, get him, get him! Guys, guys. It was now or never. Dude, Clown Pierce I? needed to oh die. Oh my god, the amount of players. He's going down the same empire. Go, 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 Get the dolphins! Where is he? Where is he? We had just lost Clown Pierce. 
Like literally, the entire server was trying to kill him and we couldn't do it. Even Redunes was there. Redunes still has no clue that we're trying to kill him and he was helping us. Honestly, this isn't even about Redunes anymore. I need to kill Clown Pierce now. But how? He's gone and there's no freaking way this guy's coming back. Except if you find his closest teammate and start killing them, then just maybe, and just maybe, he might try to save them. Oh wait, I might, I might try, I might try. On me, I'm on him, I'm on him, I'm on him. On me, on me, on me, on me, on me, on me. Let's go. There's a dolphin, dolphin. I see him. He's online. He's online. He's on land. Yeah, 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 I'm on him. I'm on him. Clown Pierce is here. Clown Pierce is here. Guys, guys, negative 700. Guys, they're running. Negative 700, 400. Negative 860, 519. Negative 860, 519. I don't think that they, they don't have farming arrows. I don't think. Uh, negative not negative thousand five six hundred negative thousand six hundred negative thousand six hundred negative thousand six hundred negative thousand six hundred please there's there's an ocean there's an ocean right next to just use the ocean negative a thousand six seven hundred I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die run 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 no, no. I don't have pearls, bro. I don't have pearls. Oh I my god, no! Fuck. Uh, I just lost my last chance to kill Clown Pierce. Maybe if I just stuck to the original plan, not all of this would go wrong. I was so stupid, wasting all my time and effort for something so pointless, and now I'm suffering the consequences. My teammates are still out there fighting their lives away to kill him, but this wasn't about killing Clown Pierce because he's such a bad guy. I wanted to prove that I'm better. I wanted to show everyone I'm not someone to mess with, and now I just lost everything. At this point, if I had any chance of killing Clown Pierce or Redunes, I would need a miracle to save my yeah. portal. They went through this portal right here. Oh, he's right there! Cloud is right here! Cloud is right here! Where is here? Is he still at the portal? Hey! We did it! <laughs> okay, sounds good. Did you have a good day at school? Here, mom, I gotta go really quick. <laughs> There's something happening right now. Clown Pierce died, and Redunes was responsible. How ironic. Little did he know this was going to be his biggest mistake. Now that Clown was dead, we could spawn trap him off the server, and with all of Clown's hearts, killing Redunes would be a breeze. All we had to do now was trust in the plan. And trust and spoke to finish the job. Did it, did it work though? Did, did we know if it worked? But as I waited, there was no chat message. Clown Pierce wasn't dying. You have no idea what's happening right now. Could Ashwag have been right all along? What you're doing right now depends on your teammates being loyal individually. Was he trying to tell me something? Someone whose team with you told me, and if I tell you, then they're gonna find out. I had just lost all of my gear. But I had to go. I couldn't let my entire plan go to waste. We're building a garden. We're doing the Thanos we're thing we were talking about. We're doing the Thanos we're building thing. A garden. My messages were met with no response. Could Spoke really be betraying me? There was only one way I could find out. Hey, hey guys. I think Spoke's betraying us. Guys? What's he doing? Doing Guys, What's look at my screen share. Just kill him. What? Just blow them up. 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 I was left with two options: blow the entire place up, likely only killing myself, or nothing. There really was no other option. I just couldn't get myself to do it. Killing Spoke was something I just didn't have in me. He was a friend. Oh no, he's emptying out his shulkers. That's what he's doing. He's what? Oh. I'm here, I'm he's here, taking here. all his gear. No, guys, guys, Spoke is doing a thing for his video. He's not betraying. Yeah, yeah, just watch, just oh, watch, just watch. Sure. Giving Spoke the benefit of the doubt, we followed him back to server spawn. We're heading there. We're on the Spoke nether roof. Yeah, we're on the, we're on the nether roof. We're on the, we're on the nether roof. All of us surrounding him on the nether roof, unbeknownst to what was about to happen. Slowly, the entire server surrounded him, angrily awaiting what was going to happen next, until Spoke decided to speak. So as you, as some of you probably already know, we found Clown Pierce's base, including the bed that he always responds at, and we needed to kill him during this day. Our original plan was to spawn kill him until he was at 10 hearts and even lower, but we, we, we've had an idea. 
from the start, it, it all started off with me and Leo. We had a vision that we wanted to bring Lifesteal back to peace. We wanted to bring balance back to Lifesteal season three. And I knew that if I spawn killed Clown at his bed, that would have not done it. We're here to say today that we want to finally make a truce and end this war. Ending all of our illegal activities, ending all of this destruction, this anarchy. Because if we care about the future of Lifesteal, this is the right thing that we have to do. And that was it. Seriously, that was the end. My entire plan gone to waste. Everything I had worked for, done. I wanted to kill Clown Pierce. I wanted to kill Redunes. And Spoke just took it from me. I couldn't retaliate. I couldn't speak out. It was over. I was done with the server and its politics. My mission was incomplete, but I had no motivation, no means to finish it. And I decided to just leave it here. I gave every last item away and every last heart until I got banned off the server. Oh my gosh. Welcome back. Oh my god. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm back, baby. Oh shit, I'm back. Yeah, no, that's fair. Oh wait, no, no, I'm at POG, I'm at POG. I was revived, respawning back at my bed. I was revived for one purpose. Kill Clown Pierce. After momentarily leaving the server, I practiced hundreds of hours of minecart PvP, an extremely volatile and deadly method. With enough skill, this PvP can even kill the best players. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah. It's been a while. This is awesome. This is Leo, so cool. you need some of these. I didn't Leo. I didn't think I was gonna be revived this season, I'm not gonna lie. Leo, come with me, come with me. Alright, mobs. Oh yeah. This is it. Oh my god. <laughs> Given 18 hearts and all the gear I could dream of, it was now all up to me. This is my turn to end what I started. If you trap me, then, uh, good job, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no. Not happening. What's up, Leo Wook? Hello, Clumpers. What is it? I think it's tied who is truly the strongest. Oh, God. I, I think this is my first time, like, fighting you just because... Like a one-on-one -on -one that's, duel. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. That is, yeah. I can't recall. I don't think we've ever I done this Sam before. Plenty. This is our first real, you know, conflict. I killed your friends. Uh, ah. You didn't get any, you know, payback for that. So here's your opportunity. All right. Are you ready, Leo? Oh God. I guess so. All right. Well, let's begin. I never thought this would be happening, clown. <laughs> really. Because I can always close the gap. Ooh, very nice. These are tricks I haven't seen before, Leo. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Been perfecting it, you know? Maybe a little bit. Nice one. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you. Sincere. That's some long poison, oh my god. That's actually kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god! What the hell? Why does that do so much damage? Oh my god, this is really <laughs>
I see what you're doing. I actually kind of need to go get something really quick, so... I mean, no one's stopping me, you know? At this point, I was heavily outgeared, and I needed to go restock at the POG. Where did you go? I told you, I'm getting something. I forgot. <laughs> what the f*** is this? How to get, uh, what's it called? What is this, bro? What the f***? Also, is this like a bed trap or something? I just found what? a bed trap. Clown Pierce was planning on killing me and bed trapping me to ban me off the server. I thought I was going into a fair 1v1, but now I realized this was more than that. This is not. Uh-huh, uh-huh. When, when would I have time to set that up? Bye-bye, <laughs> bed trap. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye dude i was getting golden carrots but i wasn't going to run away i wasn't going to chicken out of the fight now that i knew it was unfair i was going to kill clown pierce it wasn't to have a fun 1v1 clown the new kid in town with, the, with your new PvP style, and I'm over here with the old greats, you know, testing out our new new PvP style. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm scared. You and your... your poison. Push me back. Yeah, I'm not wasting a pearl on a poison pot. Level three of the boss battle. <laughs> Damn, my health took a dip. But I just wasn't going to win. With my armor and gear both being low, I needed to find something to help me out. Real. I decided to go scavenge for some gear. Why? I'm also trying to find my way back to spawn while simultaneously looting bases so I might be able to have an upper hand. I'm ready to fight. You're ready to fight? Yes. With little to no luck, I would have to give it one last shot at killing Mount Pierce. <laughs> Get him, zombies! Okay. <laughs> GG. GG. That was an amazing fight. I I enjoyed every every second of that. I'm not going to lie. I had lost the fight, but something in me had changed. That was the first time I had ever experienced what true power felt like. Having 18 hearts and all the gear I could want, I actually stood a chance against the best PvPer on the server. And now, I wanted more. But there was still one major problem. I had just lost all of my gear, 
and I was obligated to give back most of my hearts to Vitalisi. I had no clue what to do, but sometimes the path just finds you. I was investigating why Clown Pierce was attempting to bed trap me, but then I realized there was no possible way he could have set that up during our fight. It must have been someone else. And the only other person online was Spoke, my teammate during the cleansing and a close friend of mine. But why was he working with Clown Pierce to bed trap and ban me off the server? Alright, Spoke. I, I know it was you. I know you did it, alright? You find it through like replay or something? No. Wait, how'd you find it? I just guessed. You admitted to it. <laughs> really? That's boring. I can't believe you were working with him, though. Well, you gotta understand, though. I don't understand, is... actually. No, I'm not allowed to say much because this is like the cleansing, but a lot more delicate. But if it goes right, it will easily save the server forever. It looks like another war is about to be started on Lifesteal. But maybe this is my chance to become powerful. All I needed to do was be friends with the right team. Hey, look, do you want to help me end the server? Uh, I guess. Okay, I have an idea for what you can do. It will significantly speed up the process of Life Still Season 3. Is that a good thing? <laughs> what I'm doing right now is like crazy in comparison to um cleansing. It's impossible compared to cleansing. Okay. I guess, I guess I'll commit this week, I guess. This is my chance. All I have to do is put my past behind me and take a leap of faith. Because everything that I've wanted from my mission to kill Redunes has been on this side. I've attempted to ride this line for far too long, but now it's time to change. What needs to happen? Currently right now, the server is now in its most unbalanced state. People fighting each other for like no reason. How you stop it? No more players. No more players, okay. <laughs> no more players. You're not, you're not wrong. I mean, yeah. If there's no players, no war. Yeah. Spoke's plan was to remove all of the players from the server. And as absurd as that sounds, maybe he's right. That's exactly why I wanted to kill Clown Pierce and Redunes off the server. But maybe we don't just stop there. We have to ban everyone. Something was off, though. My trust for Spoke was diminished, and I needed to know the real reason I was enlightened with his plan. And it didn't take long before the truth started to come out. So, I know you have connections with Vitalisi, I need you to backstab them. Spoke found great interest in an acquaintance of mine by the name of Vitalisi. This player had an unfounded amount of wealth oh. and hearts, which for Spoke's plan to work, he needed it. All he wanted was to use me to access Vitalisi's wealth, and I was all in. With the promise of power, I was about to turn into a double agent and find a way to steal everything from Vitalisi. You never know. I mean, I, I'm, I might be able to get, like, hearts from Vitalisi again. It's not too hard. They trust you? Vitalisi was willing to give the hearts to you. Find a way to get Vitalisi to give you hearts. Before I was banned off the server, I gave everything I owned away. For no other reason than because Vitalisi asked. Vitalisi and I also shared a common enemy, Clown Pierce. With our common hatred towards Clown, it would seem like me and Vitalisi would be great friends. But with the potential power I could gain from betraying him, there was no other choice. And lucky enough, it wouldn't be too hard. Wait, Look at this DM I just got from Vitalisi. Yeah, what are they saying? If you're in this group chat, then I trust you. Please do not betray me. I need your help. Please. Vitalisi is in dire need of help. His spawn location is trapped by Clown Pierce, and if he logs into the server, he will die losing everything. What sucks for Vitalisi is I'm now teaming with Clown Pierce. Yeah. Hi, Clown. If I wish for true power, I need to face true corruption. L W. Oh. Wait, what? Given back the gear I lost in our duel, it is now my job to manipulate Vitalisi into giving me access to his wealth through whatever means needed. All right, I gotta go, guys. See ya. Good luck. Okay, see ya. I was now about to join a call with Vitalisi and begin my path to evil. Hello. Uh, Alright, so you all are in this call because I trust you. So Let's go! Please, this Vitalisi. was Vitalisi's first mistake, trusting me. No leaking information to anyone. Alright. Little did he know, every word he said, I was relaying back to my team. I want you all to join me in an effort to ban Clown Pierce or ban? at least imprison him. They wanted to ban Clown Pierce, and they needed me. The only one with the skill set even close to his to do it. Yeah, yeah. So, I, Mid, shall give away all ten of my hearts to the cause. Oh. Oh yes. my god. I'm, that means I'm going to be banned off the server. 
I will be giving most of these hearts to Leo and others. Dude, I we're about to go. We're about to wreak so, havoc. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> Min Mystic had been one of my closest teammates since the beginning of Lifesteal, but I needed these uh, hearts. One. Oh my okay, god. Okay, I'm at one heart right now. Oh my Here, god. <laughs> Oh, oh, I just DC'd immediately. My. Okay, Leo, Wait, you're gonna have to kill me. Mid. <laughs> this is this is sad. Honestly, I I I, know. I don't know if I have the will to do this. All, all I'm asking is that you kill Cloud for me. That's all I'm asking. I promise you, I'll do that. <laughs> I promise you, I will be the one to take his life. Okay, Are you ready? Kill me, kill me, do it, do it, just kill me. Ah! 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 Go away, you evil thief! Oh my gosh! I just witnessed the murder! Oh my god. This was my first betrayal. Little did Min know, I wasn't going to kill Clown. These hearts that she just willingly gave me were about to be used for pure evil. But I couldn't blow my cover yet. In the next couple of days, Vitalcy and his team are going to start reviving the banned players of the server. And it isn't until then I can reveal my true intentions. But there's still one player I had my mind on. Redunes is still out there with 20 hearts to his name, and I still want to complete my original goal. Except, I don't have to stop what? with Redunes. With the amount of power I have now, I can ban half the get server with there, just the information I know. And by leaking screen shares to my teammates, I led attacks without anyone having a clue it was me. Things were somewhat successful. Our team gained a few hearts, and we were able to create fear in the enemy. But I had my eyes on somewhere else. Listen, Leowook. If you betray Vitalicy, I'll help you kill Redunes. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Spoke promised me as long as I do whatever I can to take everything from Vitalicy, he would pay me back with the one thing I've wanted since the start. So, I continued helping Spoke, marking logout locations, relaying real-time information, and even manipulating Vitalicy to think his own teammates are spies. Vitalicy was crumbling. But Spoke wanted one more thing from me. Vitalcy plans on reviving Prince Sam, a player who recently was banned and a good long-term friend of mine. The only thing is, Spoke needs me to kill him. But at this point, I cannot stop until I see Redoon's banned from Lifesteal. Oh. Hi, Sam! Oh, Sam, guess what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, Sam, guess what we're doing? Although both Prince Sam and Vitalcy believe he's about to be revived, in reality, once he respawns, he'll be met in an obsidian cage right next to Spoke, and then right, he will be I'm banned off the Sam. server. He's been revived! Oh my god. All right, all right. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Everyone's ready? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. This is it. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's not We're in an obsidian box with yeah. spoke. What? Oh, what? 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 How? There was a chance I wouldn't need to kill Zam. As long as Spoke could kill him two more times, he would be banned off the server once again. 46, negative 15. That is my exact location, okay? So... Be careful, be careful. Watch for traps, Vitalcy, please, please, please. But Vitalcy was eager on saving Zam, and it looked like betrayal was about to be inevitable. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see them, I see them. Uh, I got them, I got them, I got them! It's gone, it's gone! Yeah, I'm gonna spawn, okay. rent, spawn. I'm ready. Prince Sam's bed was gone, meaning I would have to meet him at true spawn, and I would have to ban him off the server myself. Can I respawn? Yeah, yeah, respawn, respawn. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I'm in another obsidian box! What? Oh, they put what? my bed back! Oh no! Does that work? Uh, okay, well... Please spawn. What? <laughs> Prince Sam was now back on one heart. And unfortunately for me, Vitality broke him out. Meaning that the final kill to ban him off the server would be my responsibility. They, they know you respond, I think. They know you respond. Yes, but yeah, going that way. They do, they do, they do. Prince Sam and Vitalicy were bunkered down in a secret location, far from Clown Pierce or Spoke. Little did they know, I wasn't really on their team. Now, all I had to do was wait for the signal from Spoke and kill Prince Sam. <laughs> Sup, like, gamers? How are we doing? Oh, we doing? Just the oh, my oh my goodness. Oh my god. I have spectacles so much. Shovel. Yeah, sure. Or pickaxe. Uh, yeah, give me I'll one. I'll see Alright, so what do we do now? Okay, What's up? How many hearts do you have? What, what do we do now? Uh, oh, yeah, I got some regen over now. Smokes here! Smokes here! Smokes here! Oh, what? Is he? he he's oh, got... yeah, he is, he is, he is, he is. Oh. Somehow, Spoke had found our location, and after being spotted, he scared everyone away, meaning my perfect opportunity was gone. Now, I had to improvise. Come to them. Hold him back! Don't let him follow us! Okay, come on, Leo, you stay with me, okay? Alright, alright. I'll be your protector, Zam. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. I know a place to go, I know a place to go. Hey, okay! Oh my god! How did they find us? How the fuck Dude, they did have to be stream sniping. They're stream sniping. Let's be real, they're stream sniping. Oh let's be real, that's the only way. There's, I mean... Well, he's known you've had they got this base for a while. It was now or never. If I wanted to see Redoon's banned from the server, I had to do what I had to do. We don't need to
Dude, we're, we're fine. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, no, baiting, we're baiting, we're baiting. Us three, us three. Because then they don't know who to do. Yo, stick with assault, stick with assault. What the? Sorry, guys. Bro, what the? Sorry, guys. I did it! I did it! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Did you, did you minecart that? Yup, 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 yup. Oh my god, no, are you ready? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Ain't no way! I killed Tangy oh and... Uh, yeah, like what a minecart too! That's oh, that was so, so cool. crazy. What a minecart kill! Oh. With my betrayal complete, it was finally time for my wish to be granted. All we had to do now Just was find Redunes and on my command, kill him. After returning back to server spawn, we were now on the hunt. But with little to no sign, things might take a while. Yeah. Just wait. Redunes! Redunes doing I want to know what red. We red. want to know where Redunes is. That would be a good fight. He'll be a good fight. I see him! Where, where, where? He's, he's at its spawn! Now was our chance. It was finally time. I'm heading, I'm heading east. I see his pearl. Uh, uh, yeah, he's right here. Wait, you see him? He's right there. Invis. Here. Ocean, uh, negative 300, negative 800. He was surrounded, oh, nice. and all we needed to do was wait for my command. But Redunes wanted yeah. to talk first. Do you actually want to talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah we do want to talk. We do want to talk. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on, my friends? <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you doing? Buddy. Now was my chance. Finally, after so much time, I could do what I've been wanting to do for such a long time. But it just didn't feel right. Redunes was no longer on 20 hearts. He lost it in a war or something. And this isn't how I wanted to kill him. It felt meaningless. I just wanted um, it to be over. No, no, this server, no, no. my stupid quest for power, for I felt bad Dude, after betraying my friends, killing innocent players, and for what? My own ego? It was stupid, and that's when I made my biggest mistake. Here you go. Once again, I was done with the server. I gave my hearts away, my stuff, my everything, pretty much. I then allowed Spoke to kill me five times, leaving me at one heart. After that, I told him to kill me one more time to ban me off the server for good. Right. Spoke, this is the first place I encountered you, Parrot Clown, and Recrap, all here. Mm -hmm. You don't understand how scared I was. Down right there where that little cobblestone path is, I dug myself into a wall and I was hiding for my dear life. I think, I think as my first encounter with someone on Lifesteal, I think this is the place I want to die. Spoke. All right. I want you to like Sparta 300 <laughs> kick me, all right? I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up for this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go wind up. I'm ready. All right. All right. I'm on refill. I'm on refill. You ready? I'm ready. Goodbye, Spoke. It took me far too long to figure out the true villain of this story. At first, I thought it was Redunes. Then maybe even Clown Pierce. And at some point, I thought it could have been me. But now, I see my mistake. There was one person responsible for the stupid actions I took. The killings, the war, the betrayal, the manipulation, and the chaos. Now that I look back upon it, it seems as if it was planned from the beginning. Every action Spoke took sent me more towards evil. He won, and there was no coming back. I was banned. <laughs> the saddest thing about betrayal <laughs> is that it never comes from your enemies. See you next season. Ending the server is something I never meant to do, and people hated me for it. But do you know what I hate people for? It feels like every time I take some time out of my day to grind a new piece of netherite gear, I wake up and the next morning, it's gone? It's gone? Who the heck is taking my gear? But it's okay, cause I'm gonna hunt this person down and kill them. At first I tried using redstone, which didn't really work, but then I found something else that kind of leaves the realm of vanilla Minecraft. So if I change the name of the armor, it changes the look of it. Then it has a very, very different look than any other armor. This means as long as the people that steal my armor are wearing it, I'll be able to tell who they are. I'm gonna log on the server and find the person that's stealing my armor. All right, right now I pretty much have nothing to my name. I got like no gear whatsoever. Hi, Prince Sam, please don't kill me. Oh. Oh, okay. I managed to escape after one death, but now it was time to start work on my plan. Okay, the idea here is I'm digging out this giant area in the middle of spawn so I can start a shop. But the thing about this server is people will probably steal from me. So in the shop, I'm gonna brand all the items using my texture pack, and then we can see if anyone steals my stuff. Things seem to be going pretty all right until I almost got assassinated. Bruh, what did I even do to make him do that, bro? What the heck? I decided not to log back in, for obvious reasons. Little did I know I was about to find a major problem with my plan. So that could be a problem. Let's try a different one. After trying pretty much every single one of my texture packs that previously worked, it was now no longer working. 
meaning the plan could quite possibly fall through. But besides that, I sent a DM to my texture pack maker and continued building my shop. And I'm done. Last thing I need is to fill up the chest with some valuables for my enemies to steal. Unfortunately, if the items are going to be valuable, that means they aren't going to be easy to get. I'm going to need a massive villager farm. Villager breeder, not too hard, done. Pumpkin and melon farm, boom, boom, boom. Zombified villagers, yup. And now they're cured. And now I just have to do some trading. Easy peasy. And look, I'm done. I was not even close to done. My villager breeder was broken and I am way too lazy to fix it. So in the meantime, I decided to start promoting my business. Pofa, would you like to join the APO? Don't do it. I literally invested in fart coin and I went down 30%. Maybe I don't even I don't even know what that is. It's not like fart coin. So how can I invest in something that I have no idea what it is? Well, you just gotta trust in it. Okay, well what's the price? Uh one heart, one netherite block, and every single other ore block. Fuck no, already. This guy is running the most obvious scam I've ever heard. Bruh. Alright, it does kinda sound like a scam, but I really wanna create a legitimate business that involves people stealing my items. While I'm grinding out all the gear I need for my business, I start promoting it. This will get people interested, and then I can sell exclusive memberships. Now, the memberships will be highly valuable, but once you're in, the gear is really cheap. Enough people will buy my membership so I can make a profit, and if anyone is taking my items without a membership, I track them down and enact revenge. I also decided to hire Mapic. I hired him to rebuild my villager breeder, but I thought all this villager stuff was getting kind of boring, so I made this sick montage instead. <laughs> That pretty much sums up all of that, and things were actually starting to look up. Look, my texture pack is fixed. And not only that, it looks that so good. If you want this texture pack, make sure to subscribe, and I'm releasing at 200,000 subscribers. Join my Discord below. And now it was time to finish getting all the items I needed for my shop. I've been mining for 30 plus minutes and I have five netherite. That is nowhere close to enough. In order to actually fill up my shop, I'm gonna need it so much more. So I just got 25 ancient debris and I think I need to at least quadruple this. This is the point where it was two in the morning and I was really tired and I'd just been mining for five straight hours. I'd finished getting all the netherite I needed and was ready to head home when I accidentally fell into lava and happened to not be recording it. Okay, I am kind of in a situation right now. I'm stuck in lava, one and a half hearts, and if I log back in and take any damage, I am dead. So, I'm gonna join a 3-play mod, and in the invincibility frames, I'm gonna instantly all F forward to figure out my location, and then I can wait and hire someone to save me from this lava with my two stacks netherite that I have on me. All right, I'm gonna log in now. All right, there we go. The game has been crashed, hopefully before I can log in and take any damage, so I will probably be still alive. And now I can go into Reaper Mod and figure out my exact location. Hopefully this isn't considered cheating. Okay, it's now the next day and I've hired Mapic to come save me from this lava. My main concern is that once he saves me, he is going to kill me for my netherite that's in my inventory. But hopefully we can trust him. I've been ready. Oh my god, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive. Dude, thank you so much. Do you have an energy chest? Can you please place an energy chest? Yeah, I got you. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh. Quite surprisingly, someone who's known for their corruption was willing to help me out and even keep my plan secret. It was nice to see someone backing me up, but work wasn't done. Thieves are still rampant on the server, and my job is only half done. It's time to start recruiting members and filling my chest with riches. Holy moly, 34 netherite. That's a lot of netherite. As my wealth grew, so did my heart count. But not just my heart count. I also had gained more members to my business. All right, what's the APO, Leah? You got me interested. Okay, welcome to the APO. Are you interested in buying a membership to the APO? How much will that cost? One heart, one netherite so block, I'm one diamond block, one emerald block, one gold block, one iron block, one coal block, one of every ore block. And then once you're in, you're in, Pengy. I have to think about this real good, Leo, but I really do like the idea. You know, I'm a, I'm a wealthy man, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a wealthy man. Of course, I, I, of course. 
I talk business. It seems like people were starting to get interested. But not only that, I had just finished grinding out all of my netherite sets and was ready to open my business. So these are all the netherite sets directly at spawn for my members to buy and my enemies to steal. Look at that. I can tell who's APO and who's not. After gaining a new member to the APO and cleaning up spawn a bit to advertise our cause, it was only a matter of time before some of the items went missing. So, I have just logged on. Something is a little bit different. That there is literal cocoa beans everywhere that says poop on them. I honestly thought someone just defecated all over my ground, but turns out, five minutes later when I was checking on my shop, my signs are still here, that's good. Oh my god. Someone broke in. I'm not sure why people don't want you to have this stuff. No. Oh, bro. <laughs> they took everything. They literally took everything. As much as I was sad seeing my gear being stolen, I was prepared for this. I gotta ask some questions to Zam. Zam and Woogie, I'm gonna ask them some questions because they, they should be the only people that know about this. I have some questions to ask you. Zam and Woogie were one of the few players that actually knew the location of my shop. Zam, did you steal the armor sets? I don't think Why would I ever do that? That's so messed up. Zam and Woogie both confessed nothing, but I was gonna ask everyone online until I found the perpetrator. Mabic, did you steal the gear? Leo, you're wasting yeah. my time, which is much more valuable than you have any idea. Leo, look, you know me. I would never do something as heinous as this. No, I think Mabic did it. What the f like, honestly, this is right up the Mayfic Alley. I didn't even know there was gear in here. I wish I got there first. All right, well, that wraps it up, I guess. What happened to the interrogation? No, no is question. That for me? I continued to watch just to see if they would reveal an APO branded item. Oh, that sucks. Leo, that was actually all me. What? Bro. It's been two hours. Uh, that was a Mayfic token. Yeah, no, I that was all me. Five max sets. Can I have them back? I don't have them. Well, I'm not gonna say who has them. If I have them, I have them. If I don't have them, I don't have them. I was a bit confused if he was telling the truth or not, but I decided to ask more questions. Zam, I actually think it's you. Why the fuck? What? We look, do you mean to say you don't trust me right now? Okay, Mapic, I'm gonna use this Mapic token to figure out where Leo's gear went because I'm a good member of the APO and I'm not a traitor. It's pretty spread around the server. I think Spoke may have a couple sets. Parrot may have a couple sets. Interestingly, he accused Spoke and Parrot of paying him to steal the items meaning that Spoke and Parrot were the real culprits of this crime. But without any physical evidence, I would have to do some more digging. Hi, Leo. I talked to Woogie, a fellow member of the APO, and just two days prior, he had scheduled a fight against Parrot. This was my chance to see if the items were truly stolen by Parrot or Spoke. All right, it looks like they're logging on now. I guess that Woogie is bad. Yup, yup, they're here. I'm completely invis going to the location that Woogie sent me to go. I am a little bit scared, to be honest, because I could be walking to pretty much anything right now. Yep, that's Woogie right there. Now I just have to wait. Yep, all right, let's go. Yep, look, look, look at Spoke. He has APO branded gear on. Oh my gosh. It doesn't, it doesn't really look like Parrot is wearing anything at the moment though. We'll have to look and see some more. It wasn't until late into them fighting is when I actually saw any evidence of Parrot using my gear. Oh, that was it right there. That was it right there. He was he was holding my sword. No freaking way, bro. All right, I have all the evidence I need. Let's get out of here. I knew the first thing that I would do once I returned to spawn was build a trap for both Spoke and Parrot. Okay, so this is literally just an obsidian box, but my plan is to trick Parrot into getting in here somehow. And he's currently at one heart, so I can hold him hostage and make them give me back my armor sets. Weirdly, before I could even convince him to come to spawn, he was already there asking me to hop in a call. I'm not sure if Pangy shot you a message yesterday, but I got kicked out of No Pants People Party and I'm in need of a new team. Parrot, who's currently holding one of my stolen swords, asking for my partnership. Trapping him was about to be a lot easier than I thought. I am in need of a new team that can actually protect me. I am technically still affiliated with Spoken Mapic, and I do have a lot of information. So for example, I have the location of, you know, those netherite sets they took from you. I couldn't understand why he would tell me this information, knowing that he's currently holding one of the stolen items. Yeah, I also have some information that I know you're not going to like. I regret to inform you, Mr. Leo Wook, there is already a mole that has infiltrated your team, actively giving information to Mapic and Spoke. Who is it? I mean, I can't tell, tell you until I'm a uh, part of the team, but then I'd be willing to give you any information. Parrot just put all of his cards on the table, and I was convinced. He seemed genuine, and I needed his help. Sign that contract, please. All right, do I just sign this? 
The first course of action would be to locate my lost armor sets. And according to Parrot, he knew the location. We're pulling up to their base. At this point, I had to trust Parrot with caution. Although he was part of my team, I had no clue what he had in store for me. It was also slightly strange that the three people responsible for stealing my gear were the only ones online. Wait, 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 don't come through yet, don't come through yet. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. No, 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 no. Dude, they're right here. They are right here. They're right here. I decided to enter without telling Parrot, just in case um. he was communicating with the other team and I watched as they just paced back and forth, waiting for something to happen. It was very odd. I, I found LW merch. My trust for Parrot was quickly diminishing, and as I went back through the portal and revealed oh, my location to Parrot, he stands still, just like you would when you're messaging someone, and five seconds later, Mapic comes through the portal. Mapic's here, Mapic's here, run, 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 run. Get out. Run, Leo, run. I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And although Parrot was almost certainly communicating with the enemy team, he was my only source of information to find my armor sets. Once again, we were set out to find the lost armor sets. This time, we got some new information from Parrot that they were located near Mapix Mansion. Obviously, I had to trust him carefully, but this was really my only chance. You said you saw a screenshot. What did it look like? Okay, now that I'm, I'm really trying to remember, but it was a... Like, the grass was bright green, so it wasn't in a spruce biome. Eventually, we started using pie charts to locate armor stand entities, which seemed like it would work, but it actually led us back to where we started. Oh my god. Is there armor stands up here? I know we did not just wait. Yeah. We, guys, yep, guys, 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 yep, guys, 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 yep. guys. My main fear wasn't even not finding the vault, but what was going to happen after we found it. For all I know, this could just be a trap set by Parrot. Hey, hey, hey guys. What? I, I found it. Wait, did you no actually? Way. I did, I just found it. Wait, where, where, where? You found the base? Are you for real right now? Wait, you There's found no the way. vault? Yeah, I, I think, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, don't go there. There's don't go no shot. No shot. We just Only thing holding me back from what was supposed to be my armor sets right, was the ready? possibility of a we trap. We all blow up to a skulk trap. <laughs> no way. Boys. Boys, we found it. Oh, we actually we did. Like, no freaking no way. way. We're actually freaking... Bro. After taking all the gear back and leaving a quick message, I had to ask Parrot if he was on the other team's side. You gotta no, be honest with me. Were you working with Spoken Mapic? I'm gonna be honest, bro. When I first joined, my plan was to double agent. After Spoken Mapic became the villains, I was like, it's so one-sided. It's so boring for me to join them. I didn't just get my armor sets back, but I also gained a new friend. The APO was taking straight dubs, but I still had business to take care of. I regret to inform you, there is already a mole that has infiltrated your team. I found that extremely unlikely, especially because the player telling me this information wasn't even on my team. But there's a catch. Parrot would only tell me the traitor as long as he can join the team. Sign that contract, please. All right. Upon signing the contract, Parrot was officially a member of the APO. But according to him, one of us was an imposter. They go by the code name Apollo. Prince Sam is literally betraying you. What Parrot was saying actually kind of made sense. Prince Sam was my only teammate that I consistently saw next to my enemy. And if someone was betraying my team, it was most likely him. But how could I even trust Parrot? Like honestly, it's not every day that someone comes up to you, asks to join your team, and tells you to kill one of your own teammates. Before doing anything, I would have to make sure Parrot was a trustworthy member of my team. This would begin with a couple of tests. First, testing his honesty. I am technically still affiliated with Spoken Mapic, and I do have a lot of information. So for example, I have the location of, you know, those netherite sets they took from you. The fact that he knew this information was reassuring, but I needed to know if he actually knew the location of these sets. Upon following Parrot yeah. to the supposed location of this vault, and then realizing that this was really just the base of one of my allies, I deemed this test as a fail. The next test was a test of loyalty. Previous Previously, Parrot was part of a team called the No Pants PP, where their one and only mission was to not wear pants. So essentially, I just gave him a pair of pants, and he put it on, which made me feel a little bit more comfortable. And not long after, we actually found the location of the vault with all my stolen items. Oh my Boys. gosh. Boys. No freaking <laughs> way. But this was just the beginning. I now actually trusted Parrot, and I burned Prince Sam's contract to my team. This was essentially the beginning to the end for Prince Sam. Killing Prince Sam wouldn't be as easy said than done. A player with 20 hearts and supposedly the most powerful team on the server to back him up, mere hand-to-hand -hand combat wouldn't be enough to kill him. Oh my gosh, dude, we're gonna have to gear up. Okay, where are we meeting up? I'm not spawn meet currently. Up? Okay, let me do a quick test. If I go into a single player and there's a warden, 
but I'm turtle mastered in max gear. That does so much damage, dude. A warden seemed to be the only possible way to actually kill Prince Sam, so we started brainstorming a trap. What tool breaks this block the best? No, there's no tool. Okay, so it's unbreakable. Yeah, now it knows he's there. He got what? out, bro. After hours of testing, it felt like nothing would be completely inescapable. But with a little bit of hope, we decided to hop on the server and make the real deal. We could have it here. I think that might be smarter, bro. Yeah, I think it'd be better. All right, I found some that? shriekers. Oh, sh although what we didn't realize was that catching wardens was going to be a lot harder than we initially you thought. You just dig around. You don't have to dig straight. Shit. So here's the thing. The moment I do this, it's going to spawn. But we yeah, can run away, right? Wait, wait, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, uh over on um, other side. Yeah, go ahead. So. Oh, shoot. That's strike one for parent. Yo, guys! No, no, we're fine, we're fine. He hasn't spawned yet. He hasn't spawned yet. Have stuff that was on. Okay. Whoa, whoa. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. <laughs> they're, just, they're over here. That was You'll... strike two? Yeah. That was strike two. Okay. Dude, I'm getting the heck. After awakening the warden, we managed to take it down with a couple of bow shots. No, that's, this can take so many bow shots, bro. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Wait, quiet, 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 pair, pair, pair. Wait, do we blow up this skulk sensor? No, no. I think, I think we, we did. did, yeah. No, no, it's right there. It's right Wait, there. Quiet, quiet. Oh, that's what? strike one. That's strike one. It's not. Run! 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 We decided after all this, it was probably best just to make a trap for the warden. Alright, oh we gotta make a gosh. trap. We gotta make a trap for it. We gotta make a trap for it. You, you have fun, No, bro. we gotta lure it to a trap. We had pretty much finished the trap, but then we were discussing how we were actually gonna get him into the hole, because that's like the okay. most important part. Mr. Sun. Give me a dream. Bum 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 bum. I don't know how I'm gonna get him to sit down. Our plan was to make him sit in a minecart chair, but on this server, that is literally impossible. Let alone just luring him to this location was gonna be a challenge itself. What if I, like, make the meeting about having a mole, and then I'm like, Planet Lord is the mole. Dude, that's what I was thinking. It may have not been the best idea, but Prince Sam had just logged on, and we still needed to trap the warden. Also, we're each gonna- t we're each- let's each do one. I think that'd be really cool. Wait, how are we gonna do more than one warden? They're gonna be shooting at us from down there. Oh, you are so right, bro. Our plan may have not been the best, but we decided to send it anyways. Oh, gosh. Wait, is, the is the trap ready? Yeah, the trap the is ready. You, you, you just got, you run got, through and you're good. You gotta click the trap doors, too. Oh, 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 there it is, there it is. Run, oh! run, 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 oh, run! Here it comes! Here it comes! Oh, we can't. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Here it comes, comes, here it comes. You got time, you got time. Take your time, take your time. I can't see a thing. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, are you good? <laughs> he's in. Oh, he's in. He's in. I still get shot. I still get shot. Oh my gosh. All right, we're good, we're good. The first warden went in somewhat easily, but now it was my turn. All right, quiet, quiet, <laughs> up, quiet, up, quiet, up, quiet, up. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Holy f***. You guys ready? Just jump, jump, jump. That's strike one, strike one. No, that's strike two. Oh my gosh. Where is he? Oh my god. <laughs> you used both, you idiot. It's alright, it's alright. We have an extra one. Yeah, I can't I see shit. One. I can't see oh, shit. Oh my. You gotta go back, Leo. Leo, 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 go back. Leo, go back. What do you mean? What do you mean? He didn't it's, it doesn't know, know where you are. Yeah, it doesn't okay. know where you are. Okay, oh. oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I can't Holy see it. Moly. I here can't it see it. Is he coming toward me? Is he coming toward me? Uh, I don't know, we're blind as well. Oh I yeah, he's coming toward anything. me. He's coming toward me. Is he running toward me? Yeah, he's running yeah he is, he is, he is. Oh my god. I'm running. I'm running. Is he in? Don't mess this up, bro. I see him, I see him, I see him. How do I aggro yeah. him? How do I get him you in? You have to get closer, you have to get closer. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, oh my okay. gosh. Close. We're walk good, around, we're good. Around, I managed to capture the warden pretty successfully, but you know who didn't? Parrot. Yeah. We had to spend the next 45 minutes just getting him out of this trap, which was a little bit reassuring because it meant Prince Sam probably would die to the trap. But the most important part is actually getting him inside the trap, which is also the hardest part. Look down there. 
There's three wardens down there. But we created a plan. I made an armory, put down a bunch of seats, and decided to host a meeting for all the APO members. It was very important that Prince Sam sat in that seat. Okay, that's pretty quick. And we would make sure this would happen by inviting him to the meeting last. Right. This is the most sus shit ever. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like we're all just gonna get lined up for like a bow shot from an <laughs> infinite killer machine. I don't think we should do the minecarts. I'm sorry. I don't think that's I think that's no, way too it, sus. And although I had my precautions, the meeting was starting in five minutes, so we really couldn't do much. Oh. There's so many people online right now people know something's up bro we decided to accuse someone else of being the mole and then when prince sam had his guard down we would dig him to his death hello everyone hello everyone come 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 this way take your seats take your seats guys, sam, you sam, sam come come to my base you know my base is right oh, okay okay Okay, get, okay. get here quick. The meeting had begun and people started coming to my base, but some of them didn't quite trust the minecarts. Oh, Panky didn't pick that. Oh, that's sick. Did hey, they have Popeyes in Canada? Yeah, you guys didn't know. Yeah, this is really just like. Take a seat. Like, I trust you. Take a seat. Man, Take a seat. So bad, it's a meeting. This is so bad. <laughs> Take a seat. Everyone. I promise Leo will get This is the most thing in the world, man. Bacon, take your seat. Get back in there. Bacon, get in your seat. Bacon, get in your seat. Bacon didn't exactly want to take a seat, but I couldn't let him ruin my plan. Bacon, get in your fucking seat. I will terminate your contract if you do not get in your seat right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just get in the fucking seat. Bacon. Get, just stand in your- go in your fucking seats. Do not move. Oh my god. I may have been a bit mean about it, but it ended up working. And just then, Prince Sam had showed up to bro, me. where is my like boy Sam, bro? Where we is cannot Sam? start the meeting. <laughs> So bad. Right here. Prince Sam, get in your seat. Get in your seat. Get in your seat, Prince Sam. We had gotten Prince Sam in his seat, and it was time to start the meeting. All right, everyone. We are going to start this meeting. All right. Three main points about this meeting. First of all, I'm working on the next armor sets, just so you guys all know. Yeah. Right? Second of all, second of all, I would like to announce a victory made by the APO. Some of you know, some of you don't. I don't know. Recently, Mapix stole seven netherite armor sets, and he put them in a vault in a random place, and then me, subs, parrot, managed to find it. Like it. Final thing. I have been um, looking around all you guys, right? And uh, there's a mole. One of you is a mole. Blood Yeah. Can you stand up, please? What? <laughs> Come over here. Planet Lord. I don't want to ruin the Planet scene. Lord. Yeah. It was working. Everything seemed perfect until something very bad happened. Planet Lord. Planet Lord. Oh. I didn't do anything. Planet Lord. Yeah. Do you wanna? Do you wanna say me. something? No. Of course not. Of course you don't want to say anything, Planet Lord. But just when I thought it couldn't get worse, my saving grace stepped in. Yeah, okay. I'm all right. I'll, I'm. Everybody, get back in your seats. Hey, that's my seat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am sorry. This was it. It was my last chance to trap Prince Sam. I'd like yeah. to let you know. There is. Planet Lord is unfortunately. Bro, what? Hey guys. Fuck. We had missed, and Prince Sam had escaped. Wow. Little did we know, he brought his entire team. Guys, I'm not a mole. This is fucked up. Okay, what is going on? Awkward. We thought that was for us. Wait, a guys. Look, all right. I may be a mole, but do you guys know? Uh, yeah, they're here, they're here, the other two are here. Can we get some clarification, mm. please? I don't know, who's, who's the other two? Alright, I just- Did someone spray chairs or something? Mmm, spoke, that's a little weird. Yeah. They even began blowing up our base, and this battle started yeah, to seem yeah, almost yeah, impossible. That's the same to me. That was pretty devious, someone say. Oh, that, that's pretty devious to- This is the dramatic plot twist, guys, right? That's I've been crazy. Me this entire time. Yeah, no the whole way. time. And what? none of you knew anything. That's crazy. Yeah, that's right, guys. Yes! Holy fuck! Nice! Nice! We had actually killed nice. one of them. We had a chance. I'm on Prince Sam. Someone help me with Prince Sam. I'm you. Oh, we need to focus, we need to target, we need to target for someone. And as quick as the first, another one had no. dropped. We were winning. Nice. nice! dude, we're crazy! Sam's down here, Sam's down here. Chase, 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 chase. Oh, wait, but that doesn't matter, bro. That's literally prop one. Aren't they like now, though? Wait, Rose over here. Yeah, Rose over here. Just kill him, kill him. I'm rolling over, I'm rolling over. Oh, I broke his boot! I broke his helmet! I broke his helmet! Maybe exactly, maybe exactly. 
Oh, he's dead. I got him. I got him. Nice. But that's when we realized. As quick as we were killing them, they kept coming back. That's fine. Yeah, target him. He's, he's, he's by himself. He's by himself. With them continuously berating us with full sets of netherite armor, we had no chance. Get him in the hole, get him in the hole, get him in the hole. I'm dipping, I'm dipping. We were outgeared and outstrategied. Our only last option was to run. We had managed to escape the fight successfully, but it was apparent there was something going on that was more sinister. This fight was the very start to a war I believe was entirely fake. Everyone in it, acting, playing different roles to string me along and take everything from me. I sound crazy, I know, but let me start from the beginning and show you everything. It began the day after the fight. What seemed like a normal call then turned into accusations about our enemy team. Something that made me very, very confused yesterday was the sheer amount of god apples that the other team was in possession of. It was true. Every time we killed one of them yesterday, they dropped an unreasonable amount of god apples. It made me feel like there was something weird going on behind the scenes. I'm now, saying we go back to your base your and we go investigate those god apples. Upon heading back to my teammate's base, we discussed the possibility of our enemies duping. But this being more than just a possibility became apparent after arriving at Subs' base. What the f What the heck? What the what? hell? Yep, someone is definitely duping, but the real question is who and why. The only team that would make sense was the same people we fought the day before. They've been attempting to shut down my business and ban me off the server for weeks now. But I had an even better question. Wait, wait, can I take those? <laughs> What the f- My teammates didn't answer, but I took them anyways. If our suspicions were actually right, I would only be stealing from my enemies. Plus, the message on the blocks literally said 20 more for Leo ban. And it's not like I'm gonna ban myself. I really didn't see the issue with taking these blocks. Who took the netherite? Can we put the 15 netherite blocks back in this chest too, please? Whoever yeah, yeah. Those. Do we have to? <laughs> yes, we oh. yes, yes. My teammates made me put back the items because taking duped items is morally wrong. But honestly, they were right. An exploit like this could ruin the server forever and we needed to figure out who was responsible for this i think maybe we should set, set a little little trap should we should we do a stakeout yeah Boy, should we do a stakeout we should do a stakeout oh my gosh judging by the message that was put on the blocks the person who put them there would have to come back to see if they've been taken meaning this was the perfect opportunity for us to wait them out and catch them in the act but while discussing who we think is responsible for the duping, I had a realization. Like, who would genuinely be smart enough to do this? Like, Spoke, Ro, I guess Team Awesome. Mm. I could see Ash Swag doing this. All right. I'm deafened, but Parrot just asked the question. Who do you think is smart enough to do this? I could be completely wrong, but there's one person that I think is smart enough to do this, and that's Parrot. Parrot is the one person that I know that is smart enough to do this. Even just looking at the events that happened today, it seemed almost obvious. From the random want to go back to Subs' base, I'm now, saying we go we'll back to your base your and we go investigate those god apples. And literally finding 15 blocks of netherite in plain sight, to the fact that they got mad at me when I decided I wanted to take them. Who took the netherite? Can we put the 15 netherite blocks back in this chest too, please? Whoever yeah, yeah. Those. Do we have to? It just was kind of weird. Like, why would he even be doing this? Was he trying to take my business, my success, or was he just trying to prove something to me? I didn't know, but I didn't have any evidence, and because he's the owner of the server, it really wouldn't make that much sense for me to accuse him of such actions. I needed evidence, and I was about to get it. If I was truly right, then the stakeout we were about to do was already planned by Parrot, meaning we'd probably wait watching for someone for a couple hours, and then when someone came by, he would be the supposed person responsible for everything. But what if I changed who that person was supposed to be? I need to find a way to get those 15 netherite blocks in my under chest without them thinking it's me. Hi. <coughs> Hello. So I decided to hire someone from outside of my team. So Reddings, I'm gonna let you in on a little info right now. I'm skeptical of something happening in the APO at the moment. There's yeah. a very, very, very high probability that Team Awesome is duping. I have a, I have a suspicion that Parrot is responsible for it. Now, accusing the server owner of duping on his own server might sound absurd, but 
Redunes was in. Alright, Redunes. So walk in, get the other blocks, walk out, but you have to be spotted. Confidence is key. Act as if you work there and nobody will suspect the thing. It was kind of funny though, because when Redunes actually got there and stole the items, Crazy. Parrot didn't notice. Alright, so then I just gotta... No! I mean, yeah, sure, why not? And I kind of need him to notice. Well, I was, like, expecting you to, like, you know, walk in like you work there. Like, start working there. Oh, I you want me to actually work there? Do you want me to, like, go back? I could put them in my each. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I heard a compass. So compass. they do know I'm here. Oh, no, I heard, like, the... Spyglass? Spy I, <gasps> I heard zooming on Spyglass. <laughs> it was obvious that Parrot was now notified of Redding's presence. But what was more important was Parrot's reaction. So Redunes has all of the netherite blocks. Dude, that's actually not good though. He's gonna make like hearts or like create more netherite sets. Not even for a second did Parrot think Redunes could be the actual person responsible for this message, but Parrot wanted to do some more digging. I don't know, should we call him? Sure. Hopping in a call with Redunes, it was all up to him to not blow my cover. Hola. Mr. Redunes, we're going to uh, need that netherite back. It was not intended for you. But instantly, Parrot knew somehow that Redunes was an intended player to be carrying those netherite blocks. But when Redunes wouldn't admit that he stole them, Parrot started to get desperate. We're going to uh, need that netherite back. What netherite? Redunes, be for real, bro. All right, how about this, Redunes? Do you want to join us in the stakeout? Having Redunes join the stakeout would be another player I could actually trust. But he even better would be to have him on my team. I don't what see if why Redunes not. joined the APO? Uh, all right. The stakeout began, Parrot still not knowing actually why Redunes was here. But then I began to realize that no matter what, if Parrot was actually trying to deceive me for whatever reason, this duping needs to be stopped. Even just 15 nether blocks in the player economy could destroy the server for months. For now, me and Redunes would play along with Parrot's plan, investigating him while he investigates the supposed dupers. We began waiting, and about 30 minutes later, we finally saw someone. I was in a different call playing Valorant, but here is Redunes' reaction. Redunes, Terry is here! Wait, what? Is he at the base? Yes. Oh sh! Yes. He is. He is. Oh sh! Slowly there he making is. his there way. He is. Yeah. What is he doing? Oh my gosh! Is he actually the person? I think he knows. They're still there. Oh, the right blocks are still there. What was he doing here, dude? What? Although Terrain didn't take anything, he did show up to the location and look inside the chest, which mean it could be him. But shortly after, I found a clue that would change everything. So I'm currently inspecting the footage that I got of the person sneaking into the base, right? And I noticed something. Obviously, we know it's the terrain, but something that was kind of weird that I thought if I go back is that we can zoom in. <gasps> wait a minute. So he's carrying a ladder, which, oh wait, he has an APO helmet on. Wait a minute. Terrain has an APO helmet on. Oh my gosh. This is huge. Dude, that is an APO helmet right there. Terrain is working with Team Awesome. That's the only way he could have gotten it. The significance that this helmet carries is pretty large. Only a few weeks ago, I created a business to sell netherite gear, and I branded each piece of armor with a name that changed the texture. The only few sets that were ever produced were stolen by the same people we fought just a couple days ago. Which means Terrain is working with our enemies. And seeing him here, that means they're most likely responsible for the dupe. There's something a little strange about this picture right here. Terrain's wearing an APO helmet. How do you know? Because it has the texture on it. It has the golden texture. Do you know what that means? That means he's working with Team Awesome. That is the only way he could have gotten that. This regained my faith that Parrot wasn't against us. But it wasn't until an hour later when Redunes joined our call and told us that he spoke with Terrain. The information that he gave us changed my mind once again. Okay, so he was a messenger. He was a carrier. And Ooh. he was hired by someone. Who? Tell you who? He said they are affiliated with Team Awesome, okay, but yeah. it's not one of the face members. What? There's apparent, they have apparently someone that's uh, a shadow member. That is working what? with them, helping them out, but is not publicly known. It was obvious. Like, just listen to his reaction. Working what? With them. It finally made sense, though. Parrot wasn't responsible for the duping. He was working with Team Awesome and probably leading us on some wild goose chase just to find absolutely nothing. But I didn't know what to do next. Now that I knew the owner of the server was compliant with the duping, how would it even be possible to stop them and destroy Team Awesome? Apparently, they have a vault with all their contraband. What? And they have a whole vault. Essentially, your, your suspicions about duping is correct. And it seems to be even larger than expected. <laughs> Parrot, I think we might have a mission to find a vault. But according to Parrot... Well, we actually don't have proof that they're duping yet. But if we find this vault, that's evidence, right? If right. we were to find the vault, that would be enough evidence to ban them off the server. All we need to do 
is find it. We began searching, of course, finding nothing. A vault of this renown would be almost impossible to find. I started to doubt if even Parrot knew where the vault was. After hours of manual search, we decided this was going to be almost impossible. So we started interrogating players, asking what they knew about the duping. All right, Clutch, I want you to follow me. Get across from us. You have been on this server a lot recently, and we need you to tell us everything that you've noticed. Zam, Spoke, Ro, and Mapic. Everything. Sorry to tell you, I have no idea. We thought this was going to be the end of talking to Clutch, until he said something that would prove to be extremely useful. Come back. Come back. Uh, we're Clutch. Not done. We're not done. I want you to tell us everything you've noticed. Oh, have I, you not I, even I, interacted with them in the past, like, two weeks? Nope. Are you lying? Nope. I've, oh, actually, I've seen them, uh, like, they were, like, farming each other. That's it. They kept farming each other the whole time. Oh. How so? Like, they just kept killing, like, they killed each other, like, 50 times. Would Zam leave the game ever? Yeah, they would, they would leave right after, immediately. They would leave like before they died pretty much, like it would say they left the game and then they died. Now, what Clutch is explaining sounds extremely familiar to what happens when you get banned after losing all 10 of your hearts on this server. Yeah, they would, li they would leave right after, immediately. And remembering back just a couple months ago when I got death banned and revived, I had created two copies of my inventory. At the time, I thought it was just a fluke, but with Clutch telling us this information, that must be how Team Awesome is duping. To be honest, this wouldn't really help us find the vault, but any information counts. Even more importantly, Terrain just logged on and with his history helping us in the past, we decided to once more interrogate him again. There was a couple questions about who the shadow member might be, but I was already confident it was Parrot. What was more important was the location of the vault. I was gonna Do say you Leo have any there. idea where the vault is? I have no idea. Apparently Terrain didn't know, but what he did know was to the extent that they were duping. Because no, the amount of dupes that they've running. told me about, I don't even know how much they've duped. It is a horrifying amount of duplicated items. We know. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. This time, Terrain seemed more resilient to help us out, saying the same information that he already told us before. Even after telling him this exploit could be server ending, he didn't seem to care. But I mean, so, the server's gonna come to an end if we don't do something about it, Terry. I think it's gonna come to an end regardless. And that's when something somewhat unexpected happened. Well... Oh! Mapix Outer Layer is on! Mapix Outer Layer is on! A member of Team Awesome and someone who we think is responsible for the duping showed up. Yeah, Why dip? We can fight. I don't have armor. We can fight. <laughs> wait, wait, Terry, what about Terry. Terrain? What about Terrain? Terry, 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 come Terry, to me. Terry, I'm gonna on. give you an invis and you're gonna get out of here, okay? Okay, get out. Oh, I got splash. I got splash. I got splash. Terry, Terry, take that and get out. We can take him right guys, now, bro. You guys, jump Mapix. We need to get as much information about this as possible. I, I, Just jump him. You guys got bots? Alright. Subs, you gotta fight, bro. Like, he, he, screw the, the pacifism, like, bro. You were hey, man, just it. getting screwed. Me, bro. He's probably on 20 hearts. Someone call him. Oh, yeah, he is for sure. Spoke if wants you to kill him. He Spoke is telling me to join recording one. No, don't, 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 don't. Just you drop Mapic, no, drop Mapic, and we need to analyze his inventory. He said you may want to hear this. He literally, he said you may want to hear this. I'm, I'll join, I'll join, I'll join. If anybody has strong weapons, we do need those. But I don't want, he, he's already up. Nah, he's gotta be what? leading us somewhere. Yeah, he is. Maybe somewhere where there's people. People. He's going to the portal. He's gonna go through the portal. Do we have water buckets or anything? No, it's too late, it's too late. Shit, he went it's through. Not worth. He went it's through. Not it's worth not worth. Time. Not worth. We may have lost our chance at killing Mapic, but I was way more interested in talking to Spoke. He's a prominent member of Team Awesome, and I wanted to know what he had to say. Leo, where are you? Why? Leo, where are you? I'm at spawn. You want just me? You can bring anyone you want, but come to spawn. All right. Going to spawn, I had no clue what this conversation would lead to, but hopefully I could get some sort of clue about the shadow member or even the location of the vault. We know what's happening, Spoke. Keep the time for when you come. How far away are you? I'm pretty close. All right, Spoke. Hello. All right, Leo. What's the end goal here? Mm. Like, you're out here harassing other players. Maypick comes over here. Harassing who? And then you try to fight Maypick. Like, what, what, what's the goal here? What's happening? But upon talking with him, he didn't seem to want to give up any information. Nothing. I think there's something you for nothing, you to explain. You have nothing for me? Like, nothing to say to me or anybody else? No. Alright, so, so, so I just leave now? Am I, are we fine? Are we good? Sure. Right. Later. 
The call with Spoke was pretty much useless, maybe even just a way to get me away from his teammate, Mapic. But after regrouping with my teammates, we noticed something very interesting. I, I don't know what the f he was doing. There, he just literally did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zero. Yeah, I think they were planning he, to jump up. Terrain's lying. Really? About what? Losing his armor. About he has the same exact armor oh, yeah, on as yesterday. Yeah, Comparing his armor to yesterday's, it's the exact same, right? But just 10 minutes ago, he said he lost all of his armor. Yeah, Why did we, we can fight. I don't have armor. We can fight. Wait, wait, Terry, what about Terry. Meaning that if Terrain's willing to lie about that, he's probably lying about everything else as well. Slowly but surely, everyone that I believed I could trust is most likely working against me. It I'm has the APR. same LW pattern. Guys, I see Mapic. We're gonna get jumped. We are going to get jumped. This is what they're doing right Guys, now. Guys, we need to get out of here, bro. Out of, here. Out, of here. out of here, out of here, out of here, out of here. We began leaving, but I still couldn't stop thinking about the fact that Terrain was probably feeding us false information. Literally, Terrain has the same exact armor pattern that he had yesterday. The LW helmet, probably the print boots, I have no clue, but probably. He also can be lying. But just as we were making it out, I realized this was our perfect opportunity to find the vault. Uh, we are currently- Wait, wait! We could follow them this back is the to their- that's what I'm saying! This is the perfect time to follow them back to their base! Funnily enough, me and Parrot had the same idea, which was actually kind of comforting. Dude, there's a pretty decent chance I die right here, but um... Is it I guess I'll, is, I guess I'll is, see is, you is on the other worse? side. Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Now, me and Parrot were about to go on a mission together to find the vault. Unfortunately for Parrot, he is currently at one heart, meaning if he gets hit, he pretty much dies and gets banned off the server. Dude, what the heck? Yeah, I, I, see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. I know. He's a, he's well, I can, but I have Prince one Sam, Prince Sam's there, Mapix there, Rochambeau. They're all here? They're all there. I'm following Ro and, and Prince Sam. I think they're heading to, like, Terrain's base or something. What are they doing to Terrain, bro? They also began continuously killing Terrain, which I assumed was a ploy to get oh, our sympathy and them. use that as leverage. Oh my gosh. They're gonna ban him off the They're server. gonna ban him off the server. They're going to Terrain's base, yeah. They're all at Terrain's base, yeah. I see Zam, I see Zam. Yeah, Shoot. I'm, I'm next Dude, to Zam in a row. Be careful, that's all. Keep distance. Yeah, that's careful. what I'm doing. They're at Terrain's base now. They're I all know. there, all of them. Should we go look at the Shulkers? Oh my god. I mean, they're all here, dude. It's like literally now or never. Yeah, they're placing down the shoulder. Should I go in? Look I at the see spoke. I see spoke. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Placing down obsidian or spoke? Spoke is pulling out. Why? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. Should I follow spoke? Yeah, follow spoke. Go ahead and follow spoke. Okay. Yeah. They're pulling to the roof. They have pink shulker box. I see a pink shulker box. Should try, I try, and try and open it if you can. No freaking way, bro. That's so do risky. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Are you in their base right now? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just got six hearts! I applied them all! I just what? got six hearts! I just got six what? hearts! Oh my god! What? I just got six hearts and I applied them all at 15 hearts! How? I bet those are duped. They're duped, but I got... Oh... My god! Although this was a major win, we still didn't have time to celebrate. Spoke wanted to call once again, and although he was probably trying to waste my time, any information is useful. Spoke, or Leo, 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 when you when you VC with Spoke, do not give him any hint that we're onto the dupe, okay? All right, all right, sounds good. Howdy. Leo, have you arrived? Mm, not quite. All right, Leo. Do you want to explain to me now what is your goal? Without wanting to give up information about what we actually wanted, I made something up. Oh, we want the APO to be a successful business. Successful business, all right. And although I actually did want to see my business be successful, if I didn't stop the duping, that would be nearly impossible. What's stopping the APO from just consuming the other businesses? Like There IHop, is like, no other businesses, IHop. Spoke. We are the only business that people have actually cared for, Spoke, all right? No one else has put in the effort like me. I spent 22 hours grinding netherite. And, and to see my stuff get stolen, and worn, I can see it in your hand right now, Spoke. My sword. You're not part of the APO. You shouldn't be using that. That's not I'm yours to aware. take. I'm fully aware you can see this sword. And I'm fully aware you know my teammates also have your armor. I'm aware. Plenty more sets of your armor. Mm hmm We talked about my team in my business, but something that surprised me was when he brought up the dupe. Have you been to Subs' base recently? No. It's been blown up. I'm not. It's been blown up. Yeah. I don't think that's what happened to Subs' base. Obviously, I was lying, but it didn't really matter because Spoke was actively admitting to everything. Look, I'm I'm sure you've seen Subs' base. I've, it's I'm been, sure yeah, it's been blown up. Bases. 
That wasn't that wasn't the only thing that's happened to it. I saw Redunes open up the chest. Hold up. How could Spoke know about Redunes stealing the Netherite? The only two people who knew about that was Parrot and Redunes. Spoke just confirmed that Parrot is the Shadow Member. Not only did I now figure out the Shadow Member, but I quickly realized what their motivation behind all of this was. I saw Redunes open up the chest. It was a message to subs. Okay. Not the message, but specifically the items in the chest. You know what that means. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about. That means business on a whole nother level. That means power on a whole nother level. Because in the past week, somehow, the APO has been overshadowed shadowed by this completely other entity. That was it. The entire reason they're doing all of this, Parrot, Zam, Spoke, it was about my team, the APO. It was about taking everything from me. They couldn't match the amount of netherite I had, so they had to resort to duping, and I'm going to stop it. Although I still don't understand the motives behind Parrot, as long as I get enough evidence to show the people that Team Awesome is 100% duping, they will be banned. Do you have a stasis, Spoke? That stayed unknown. No, I don't have any stasis. I don't have anything set up. Honestly, I was furious, and I ended up making a pitiful attempt at killing him. You do something, I do something, it just happens, you know? But understand that if you kill me, if you somehow kill me, something happens. Is that it, Leowook? I don't know. This is stupid. Alright. Well, if we're done here, let me know when you actually want to talk. Because I am... I'm willing to talk anytime, just send me the message. The conversation had ended, and a lot of the information that I believed to be true, I found out was fact. Even more importantly though, Parrot was currently following them inside the nether, locating the vault. Guys, 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 just let me... I, I need you guys to be quiet for like one second, bro. I'm actually tailing all of them. Let, let us know which direction, and we'll go slow. We won't, we won't catch up to you, alright? They see me! They see me! They see me! They see me! Parrot? Oh, frick. Parrot? What? Tell us your cords right now. I'm dead. What do you mean? No, I'm dead. I died. I died. Oh, shit. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead. Parrot. Which direction did you go? For as much as I believe Parrot is working for the other team, he continues to surprise me. Like going to the extent, getting banned in search for the vault, it just doesn't make sense to me. And although he definitely is this quote unquote shadow member, why does it even matter? How does this even affect me? Honestly, the only thing that Parrot has really done is help me. And he seemed pretty genuine about wanting to stop the duping. He even patched the plugin that allowed Team Awesome to even dupe in the first place. Even his morals haven't changed since the beginning. If we find evidence, we can ban them. But we just haven't found concrete evidence. Honestly, I was in a pretty bad situation. As much as I want to stop the duping, I also don't want to get played by Parrot. I just didn't exactly know what to do. All right. It's time to create a base of operations. We need to get our together. But before making a base, we decided it was best to revive Parrot back to the server. Even if Parrot is this shadow member, I honestly think he wants to find this vault just as much as we do, even if it's for a different reason. Just send it, just send it, revive me. Hi, oh my gosh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's no longer like a small man. He has four hearts You can now. actually crit me. Holy okay. moly. We then began constructing our base, 100 blocks in the air, made completely out of chests, nearly impossible to find. Finally, we collected all of our materials together and got everyone up to 13 hearts. We then cleared our schedules and set the next 48 hours to hunt for this vault. We first started all the way back on day one, examining the fight. After we killed them, I wrote down how much time it took them to get back to the fight, and then we searched a perimeter around that area. After finding absolutely nothing, we decided to look in the end. Searching far and wide, I was starting to lose hope, to the point where I even started breaking server rules just to get an advantage, and the team was falling apart. Parrot set out to interrogate and kill a player that was completely innocent just because he interacted with Team Awesome. By the time I got there, he had already killed the player, and we sat there for the next 45 minutes discussing what we really were trying to do. Hello? What was Hello? that for? Why did you do that? We need to have a meeting 
right uh, now. Uh -huh. I asked why they killed the player, and this was their answer. We're blocking the distribution of duped items in the economy. Planet, we're gonna but it's already has, distributed. Planet has what nothing do to do with that at all whatsoever. The thing to take away from this is that my team was being torn from the inside out. Our morale was at an all-time low, and the only thing that we wanted was to find this vault and end all of the duping. Honestly, the searching was becoming extremely boring, and I was getting to the point where I would do anything to end the duping. But, there was a glimmer of hope. We're searching just as normal, until Spoke asks us to join a call. He says recording three. Unknowing to what was about to happen, of course we were cautious. We are at uh, spawn. We're, we're, standing, at we're standing at the front bridge. To do what, bro? We want to We want to talk. Meet. And although this was probably a trap, I saw this as another opportunity to gain information. We began following them and met up on top of the nether roof. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Sooner or later, they began to talk about the vault. We yeah. have made a vault. Just like how you guys did with your armor sets. And however, All right, but ours were legit. However, we have, we have things to show. We have things to, we have things to show. I'm assuming you guys already are aware of some sort of vault that is being claimed to be illegal of some sort. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how a vault could be illegal or what possible items in a vault could make it illegal. So I decided to show you it. Was this really about to be the vault? Or was this some sort of trick? I wasn't sure, but I was eager to find out. And as we arrived, we were right back where we found the netherite blocks. I didn't even think of it. This was the perfect place to hide a vault, right in plain sight. But as we followed them down, my nerve started to set in. Was this about to be the end? All of my work meant for nothing? Them just showing us the location of the vault? I was excited and both scared to see what was about to happen. But as we arrived, it was a whole lot of nothing. Although, Spoke did have a story to tell. Exactly. Exactly, this I'd say about five hours ago, this was by far the richest vault in all of Lifesteal. But now, it's gone. Now what? Why? Spoke saying that actually genuinely made me question everything. How did we know if even there was a vault in the first place? Just thinking about it, they could have just kept all of the duped items in an ender chest. But now that we were here at the supposed vault, I realized our mistake. Everything is destroyed. There was never illegal items. There was never anything like actually like suspicious, but we've decided to destroy it and remove it. Except I just couldn't believe it. They were lying. It just wasn't true. It simply could not be. So I called their bluff. I told them if they truly weren't duping to show us their ender chest. That's something that they wouldn't have done before. But now that they're trying to prove their innocence, they might have to. Uh, can I see your ender chest? I thought he was going to say nuts. Wow. <laughs> I really nuts. Yeah, wow. actually, can we, can you, do you mind screen sharing your ender chests? I mean, why do we have to? Because you claim the vault's destroyed. Have you asked, have you asked any other player? Like, have you, you want to know what the best vault is? You, you know what the best vault is? What's Your the best vault, Leo? An ender chest. You think an so ender really Okay, let me answer this, Leo. Do you actually think an ender chest is enough to store the richest vault in all of Lifesteal? Guaranteed, Probably. plenty of players. And why would you Plenty of players. It? Have the no, same... I I, I'm willing to show them my ender chest. Mapic was actually willing to show us his ender chest. Little did he know that would be his largest mistake. There's I want you to find to be worried one about. item that is implausible to find. You ready? We'll go through them all. You ready? All right. Wood. Yeah. Redstone. We began looking through his ender chest, which seemed generally pretty normal until we saw one specific shulker. Redstone. Restock. Redstone. Armor. That's a Go lot of armor. armor. That's you think a that's lot plausible of... to get. Have you seen the Clown Pierce Merchant video? There was an absolute insane amount of armor, but Mapic attempted to argue that it was attainable in survival, which is true. But if you look even closer at each piece of armor, the durability is exactly the same. And the only way to do that is duping. On top of that, after asking for a closer look at each of the items, they had the same exact name as well. Although we didn't find the vault, this was surely enough evidence to get them banned off the server, but it was all up to Parrot's decree, and he didn't ban them. After all of the evidence that we had just found, it, it was clear, they are duping, but Parrot still wanted to find this vault. This vault that I currently believe is imaginary, a ploy just to waste our time, but he wanted to find it, and he wouldn't ban them until we did. On top of that, Spoke made his intentions extremely clear. You. Listen, you if you something? truly, if you truly want to end this, I all thought you guys just to, showed us you were innocent. All we need what what see, do we need to end? What all, are we trying to yeah, end? All here? we need to see is the APO to disband. Their purpose of uh, destroying the villainous players who supposedly were illegal. 
We just proved that honest, we're not you're illegal. Making shit up. Honestly, I was more than upset. This entire time, all they wanted was to end my team. And honestly, Parrot is still probably part of that, because he hasn't banned them off the server yet for what is obvious duping. But did I really have a choice? It was either end the duping and keep my team, or continue into anarchy. If I wanted to live up to what my team was made for, I would have to lose everything. Of course, I don't want to lose my team, but it might be inevitable. After a couple more hours of searching, I came to the conclusion that this vault was most likely not real, and the only way to stop this would be to dissolve my team. If I wanted to see this server exist, I had to do it. So I called them up and we met on the nether roof and I pitched them my offer. So you want me to resign the APO? That That's is exactly true. why you've That's been doing exactly. everything. That is exactly it. We can make a deal here then. I burn all the contracts. I'll never create the APO again. Never have any affiliation with it anymore. Get rid of it. Diminish it. Make it ashes. If you show us the vault right now with items in it. Now, this was a two-edged sword. If there was no vault, then obviously the APO would remain standing. But if there was, the APO would be disbanded and the vault would be disintegrated. One other thing, yes. every single allegedly duped item that we deem allegedly duped will have to be destroyed permanently. And after some talking over, they agreed to it. We signed some contracts explaining the rules for each side, and I wrote my name forever in this book, saying that the APO was officially over. And that's when they showed us to the vault. Weeks worth of my life just looking for this, and to see it in person was about to mean everything. No, we don't have a bed. Way, don't what do you think, Parrot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he used the bed, Parrot. <laughs> and when we got there, it, it was a vault of duped items, but I didn't even react. I knew what this meant. It meant the APO was over. But along with that, so was the duping. It was all over. <sighs> All right, All right. Finally. everybody grab the shulkers and just start tossing them in the void. We grabbed every single shulker and put them straight into the void. But now, it was my turn. Taking the contracts of the members of my team and putting it in the same place of my enemies. It'll happen All no right. matter what. With that information, I, uh, I hope your promise comes true. I will throw away the signed contracts from the APL. I don't know, this seems more symbolic. Yeah, there is, <laughs> there is shulkers. <laughs> Don't, we don't talk about it, bro. Let me see, let me see the switch shulkers. We don't Smoke. talk about it, bro. Leave them. Goodbye, APO contracts. Oh, it's just gone. Yeah, yeah. gone. As we stood there in silence, we realized that we were no longer enemies. There was no reason for us to fight anymore. But I still wanted to know what Parrot had to do with any of this. So when Spoke requested to speak with Parrot, I sat there in Viz, trying to observe to see if there was any clues. Medic. We have to get him in the void hole. We have to get him in the void hole. No! Oh, shit. No! No! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! But sometimes it's best just to never know. And this was the end. All the way up until the end of season four, my entire experience on Lifesteal. Honestly, Lifesteal has changed my life. Through the friends I met, the enemies I made that no longer are really my enemies. Lifesteal is a part of me now, and it always will be. Of course, this is not the end. There's still many seasons to come and many more stories to tell. But for now, this is it.